On behalf of Agudas Israel of America, it is our pleasure to welcome everyone to the 13th Global CM Hashas. The program will begin in three minutes with Mincha. Please proceed to your seats. We wish all the Messiahim a huge Mazel Tov in the Zchus of all of our Limud HaTorah. We look forward to joining together once again for the 14th Siyam HaShas in Yerushalayim HaKadosh with Mashiach Bimheira Biyameinu. And the second one came out naturally. What you need to nullify Membermino. Right. So there's no way that these young animals rid of the man you're sneezed. I mean, if he did it in the M.Y., oh, yeah. she was included, and if he was in honey, he'd also have worse mice in the age. The shit is that worse mice. I'm all over a pulp with the demo of Sima Barashi. Yeah. Lama, the shavit tamim, vantish bale tamim. Tagili, em atao shudamati. We will now begin Mincha. As we do so, let us take the Hisairis of the beautiful Tfilis at this extraordinary Kiddushem Shamayim into the future, resolving to make every Tfila in every Kehila worldwide a model of decorum and Kedusha and make the Stop the Talking in Shul movement a reality. Freezing. <laughs> he last sadi no yidabe pi vivore koboso shin kotche lelom void. Manach no nevorech yo. Mayata via doilom hallelujah. Yizgadal vi is kadash me rabo. 
Biyomod v'cheruse, biyam lich malchuse, biyatzmach b'kone v'karev mishiche. V'chaye choy nevioy mechoy, v'chaye d'chol beis Yisrael. Ba'galo v'zman karev imru amen. Yehei shimei rabom v'rach li'alam li'olmei olmayo Yizbarach v'yishtabach v'yispar v'yisremam v'yisnasei V'yisado v'yisale v'yisalol shimei d'kutsho v'yirichu L'eilo m'kol b'chasa v'shirasa d'sh b'chasa v'nechem asa Namiram v'yomo v'imru amen
Melech <laughs> Memes Machaye, Umatsmiach Yeshua, Venemanat Allah is Mason Borchato Adenoi Machaye Mason Nagdishach Venarizo, Kenoyam Siach, Soid Sarfe Koidesh, Hamashal Shmlacho Kedusha Kakos of Yadne Viejo, the Koraze El Zeviomar. Kodosh, 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 Adinoi Tsevois, Meloi Cholo Oretz Kevoidoi, Lumosa Meshabchem Yoimrim. Boruch Kevoid Adinoi Mimkoi, Moi Divrei Kotschcha Kosov Leimor. Yimloich Adinoi Leoilom Elahayach Tsioin, Le Dorvador, Hallelujah. Ata Kodosh, Vishimcha Kodosh, Ugdosh, Shimachol Yom Yalucha Selo. Ki el mela god of a kodeshota borachato adenoi. Hoe la kodesh. Ato choine liodem das, um lamet lenish bino. Chane no mit her chochma bino vadas, borachato adenoi. Choine adas. Hashi veno avino le soido secho. Vekoveno malkeno la voido secho. Varzireno vishuva shile malafonecho. Borchato adenoi. Haroitse vishuva. Slach lono avino kichatonu. Machal lono malkeno kifashonu. Ki el toy vesalachota. Borchato adenoi. Chano na mabulus loyach. Re no vionye no river of no gale no go ulo shalema mehera la mancha mecha ki el goyal chazakata borachato adenoi goyal yisrael rifa enu adenoi vene rosha re rafa shene vishex yasenu ota vale rucha mabula chotach lenu choma chavenu la choma kasenu refua shalema la choma kasenu Ki el melech roi fenemon verachmanoto borachato adenoi roi fe choile amo yisrael bocholeinu adenoi eleinu sashana zeis ve es kominis vosel toiva ve sein talamoto lavrocha pne adama ve sabeinu mituva uvarach shena shena kashana matavis lavrocha ki el toiva meituvata mavarach hashanem bochato adenoi mevarach hashanem. Kabe shoi for God, the Hedo Seno, the son is the Kabe's Kalia Seno, Captainu Yahad Meher, the Arba Campus, or it's that Seno, Bohato Adenoi, Mekabe's Nitre, Amo Yisrael, Her Shiva Shev Tenik, the Shenu Atenik, what he loved, the Hosemani Gavanoha, whom Loyha Lena Mehrata, the Noy Levat, the Bachas, the Brach, and Sakain of the Tedek of Mishpot, Bohato Adenoi. Melech oyev tzedako mishpat v'la malshinim alti yisikva v'chol aminim keregi yavedu v'chol yavecha meheri yakaresu v'hazeide meheri sa'aker shaber smager s'chalim s'ashpilim s'achniyem b'meheri v'yameinu boruch ato adenoi shoyver oyvim achni hazeidim 
על הצדיקים ועל החסידים ועל זקני שאירי סמכו בישראל ועל פטס בספריהם ועל גרי הצדק ועלינו ים ננח מאחד דינו אלינו ושאין צחתו ולכל הבוידכם משמחה בימס ושמחו כן אמרם לילי נבש כי בכל בתוכנו ועל חסדך גודל בימס נשנו ברוך אתו עדינו משנו מפתח לצדיקים וישלייה מרחו ברחמים תושו וסישקיים בסויחו כאשר דיברתו ובני יעשה בקורא בימינו בניין עולם וכיסי דוד עבדכו מהר אל הסויחו תוכן ברוך אתו עדינוי בואי נהירו שלויים אס צמח דוד עבדכו מהר עשה צמיח וכאן נתורם בשו עשיכו כי לשו עוסקו קווינו כל היום ומצפם לישוע ברוך אתו עדינוי מצמיח קרן ישוע אוו רחמון שמע קולנו עדינוי אלוהינו חוס ורחם עלינו וכבה ברחמה ורוצן את תפילו עשינו כי אל שמע תפילו יסכנו נמותו ומפונחו מלכנו ריקו מל תשיבנו חוננו ועננו שמע תפילו עשינו כי עתו שמע תפילו כל פעם חיסו ברחמים ברוך אתו עדינוי שמי התפילה רצי עדינו אלהינו ממחי ישראל שלושם שהי והושב וסבוי דלית ובייסך ואיש ישראל וסלושם אי בסקה ברוצון ושהי לרוצון תום ודבוי דעת ישראל עמך ושיח זנה עינינו ושוב חלוצים ברחמים ברוך אתו עדינוי המחזי שכינוסו לציון מוידים אנחנו לוח שעתו הוא עדינוי אלוהינו ואלוהי אבוסינו לעולם ועד צורנו צור חיינו מוגן ישנו עתו הוא לדור ודור נוידו לכל נוסף את אלוסיך על חיינו המסור מידיך ועל נשמסינו אבקודי סלוח ועל ניסיך שבכל יום עמנו ועל נפליסיך ותבשיך שבכל עש ערב אבוי כבצרויים התוי כי לא יכולו רחמך ואמרכם כי לא יישמו חסדך כי מי אוילום קווינו לך ועל כולם יזבורך וישראל ומסנסי שם חומקנו תעמד ליוילום ועד וכל החיים ידעו חסר לו והלבוך את שמך גודל באמץ ליוילום כי טוב האל ישוע עשינו ואיזה עשינו אל הטוב בורך אדוני הטוב שמך ולכו נוי להוידס שים שלום טוב וברכה חיים חן וחסד ונחם עלינו הכל יסול עמך ואורחינו אבינו כלנו כאחד באור פניך כי באור פניך נשאת לנו עד נוי אלוהינו תוי רס חיים יבס חסד וצדוקה וברכה ורחמם וחיים ושלום ותוי ויהיה בניך לבחינו לברך כל עם חיסו בכל עץ וכל שם שלמך ורואה בו עץ ושלום ברוך אתו עדינוי המבורך שמו ישראל בשלום יזכדל ויזכדש שמי רבו ביומוד ובחירוסי וימלך מלכוסי ויצמח בקוני וקורי משיחי בחיי חוין ובימי חוין ובחיי דכל בייס ישראל בעגלו ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן יהי שמי רבו מבורך לעולם לעולמי עולמיו יזבורך וישתבח ויספואר וישרימם וישנשאי וישהדור וישהלה וישהלול שמי דקודשו וריחו לאלו מכל וכוסו ושרוסו דש וכוסו ונחם עשו דאמירום ויומו ואמרו אמן תסקבל צלוי סון ובוא סון דכל בייס ישראל קדמון אבואן דבשמיה ואמרו אמן יהי שלום רב משמיה וחיים טוב מלאנו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן ויעשה שלום רימימוב ויעשה שלום מלאנו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן 
Aleinu l'shabeach, l'adoin l'akoy, lo seiz gedulo l'yoy tzebreisish, shelo yoysa negerot, seiz velo yisa monash choy sadamo, shelo yisa mchokein em v'goy aleinu kholamoy nem shem shnach mleim v'sham lisha. Anachnu koyre shnach moy nem melech, malchem amlochem ha-kodesh bochu, shmai moy shkem v'shkunas moy v'hu aleinu, einoy dem asmokein evitz lo zay, nalti em shmai sechen v'shmai mleim v'sham lisha. Ha, kena kavachad inoy aleinu, lirais v'mhein v'sres ezech, l'hav g'lema ונאמר ויהו אדינוי למלך על כל הארץ ויהו אמה הוא יהיה אדינוי אחד ושמו אחד יסקדל ויסקדה שמי רבו ביאלמו דבר חרוסי וימליך מלכוסי ויצמח בקוני וקרי משיחי וחיי חין ובימי חין וחיי דכל בייס ישראל בעגלו וזמן קרב אמרו אמן יהי שמי רבו מבורך לעולם לעולמי עולמיו יזבורך וישתבח ויספר וישרימם וישנעשי וישדו וישלה וישלול שמי דקודשו בריחו לאלו בכל בחוסו ושיעשו תשבחוסו ונחמוסו דמירם ויומו ואמרו אמן יהי שלום רם שמיו וחי עם טוב מולנו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. הוא יעשה שלום רממיו הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. Please welcome Rabbi Chaim David Zwiebel, Executive Vice President of Agudas Yisrael of America. Beruchim haboyim b'shem Hashem. Welcome all to the 13th Global Siyam Hashas Daf Yoimi. We at Agudas Yisrael of America consider it a sacred privilege to host this great Simcha Satara celebration. Just as we have since Rav Meir Shapiro introduced the concept of Daf Yoimi at the first Knesia Gedayla nearly a hundred years ago. Chizuk HaTayra has been an essential part of the Agudas Yisrael agenda ever since, whether through our broad array of Limud HaTayra programs or our advocacy on behalf of our precious Maistais HaTayra. At a time when the scourge of anti-Semitism is rearing its ugly head once again, when our yeshivas are under unprecedented attack, when the dark side of technology threatens the very foundations of our families, Ein Lanu Shior Rak HaTayra Hazais, our only hope in these turbulent times is to hold tight to the Daf HaSafina, the Blat Gemara that defines our existence as Hashem's chosen people. What a tremendous chizuk it is to gather here today with Rivervice Alfei Yisrael and the presidents of the Zikne and Gedaylei Hadar to celebrate the remarkable accomplishment of Siyam Hashas and to renew our commitment to making Limud HaTayra an essential part of our lives, every single day of our lives. Ashreinu Matay Chalkeinu. The multitudes of Klal Yisrael who have joined us today for the Siyam are making a profound statement in a conversation I had the other day with the great Amur HaChesed, Rabbi Shleim Yehuda Rechnitz, who very much wanted to be here today, he asked me to mention that a person does not necessarily have to give money to be a Taimach Taira. The mere fact that 90,000 people have braved the cold and have come here today to give chizuk to the Messiahim, that makes every single person here a genuine Taimach Taira. The word Saimcheha, Rab Shlaim Yehuda points out, is Begematria Siyam Hashas. 
Let us now raise our voices in unison as we recite a capital to Hillam Perikuf Lamid and beseech Hashem with a sense of urgency for all who need a Rafua Shalema, for all of our brethren in the Eretz HaKadosh, for all who are so desperately awaiting their individual Yeshua, whatever it may be. The Tehillim will be led by Rabbi Shlomo Mandel, Raisha Yeshiva, Yeshiva of Brooklyn. And following Tehillim, Rabbi Mandel will say, Amishabarach v'chaylim. Please be mazkir any names of specific chaylim you may wish to include at the appropriate point. Rabbi Mandel. Shalom, 
ולחוגידיהם, רפואה עשה נפש ורפואה עשה גוף, עד שטוב הגולו בזמן קורא, ונאמר אומן. to call upon Rav Ariel Mokhil Kotler, Rosh Hashiva, Beis Medrash Gavaya, and Chavar Mayetzes Gedaylei HaTayra for Divrei Pesicha. Vayihi Bishurun Melech, Vesasef Rosh Hayom Yachat Shiftei Yisroel. Bishus Melonon Barbonon Braboisai. We come together to celebrate the Simcha Vasim Ashas for the Lime Dedaf Yoimi. The Siem, the Simcha Sasim from thousands of Lime Dedaf Yoimi is not only a gathering of many Simchas together, of the Simcha of each person and his own put together by all the thousands. But it is a Klal Yisrael Simcha. It's a Simcha of Klal Yisrael. Like Abayah says in Mesech the Shabbos, Taisili, the Kirazina Suva Mirabona on the Messiah Mesech. When I see a young Talmud Chochem that finishes a Mesech, Avidna Yoyma Tov Al Rabona, and I make a Yon Tov Rabona for the Talmud Chachomim. I make a Suda for all the Talmud Chachomim. Abai is telling us not only that he makes a big suda for those that for those that are Messiah. He's making a grace of chasana. But he's, Abai is telling us that it's the simcha, it's the yontif of all of us, it's the yontif of Kula Rabbonon. It's a yontif of Klaus of one one year is Messiah Sechta. What is the connection? Lakhir, there's only one Messiah. One Rabbonon is finishing a Mesechta. There are thousands of Yidin that are finishing Mesechtas, but it's only those Yidin that are finishing the Mesechta. It's their Simcha. L'chayr, we are coming to their Simcha. And the reason for this is because Torah Tziva Lonu Moshe Merosh Akilas Yaakov. The Zaydin Misayfa Misha Saban, Zaydin Sechestarak Lebrocha, explains Merosh Akilas Yaakov, he brings from Chazal, that it's Yerusha for Kilas Yaakov. It's a Yerusha, it's a Kenyan not only for the one that learns Torah, it's a Kenyan for all of Klal Yisrael. It's a Yerusha for all of Klal Yisrael. It's an Achlas HaKlal. When one Yid learns, Klal, when it learns Torah, there's a Rebbe of Torah in all of Klal Yisrael. The Zayda explains that the Ikah Mitzvah of Talmud Torah is to be married with Torah to make sure there should be more Torah in Klal Yisrael. That there's Torah in Klal, all of Klal Yisrael is enriched by the one Yid that learns Torah. The Torah is called Torah's Chesed. The Torah is a Torah for all of us. Every year that learns, the Torah is a Torah for all of us. And Kavu when one person finishes Shas, Kavu when thousands and tens of thousands, and maybe more, there's a Rebbe of Shas and of Torah in all of Kalal Yisrael. And the Simcha is even for the year that did not learn Shas, that did not finish. The fact that there's so much more Shas in Kalal Yisrael, there's so much more Torah in Kalal Yisrael. This is a tremendous Yom Tov Al-Ramonon. Every one of us was enriched by the Torah, by this Torah, even though we ourselves, maybe not everyone finished himself. We find that the meaning of Kalal Yisrael is that we make a Siyam Ashas, a collective Siyam Ashas. One person learns one Masechta, the other person learns another Masechta. And we get together, we make a Siyam Ashas. And what's the connection? Why is this a Siyam Ashas? Each one learned only one Masechta. And the answer is because Klal Yisrael learned Shas. All of us together learned Shas. That's a tremendous, tremendous simcha that Klal Yisrael as a whole learned Shas. And the Shas belongs to all of us. All of us were enriched by this Shas. Mazayda Zechisadik Levrocha was once by the Chavetz Chaim. And the Chavetz Chaim was Mo'ir him. That when a person learns a Masechta, he should not leave it in the middle. He should finish the Masechta that he learns. And the Chavetz Chaim quoted the Zoyar. The Zayah tells us, Man the Yalif, Mesechta Chodah, Yoris Al Mechodah. A person that learned the Mesechta inherits a world. Chazal tell us, Shishim Heim Amalochas, there are 60 Mesechtas. Each Mesechta is the size of a kingdom. 
is the value of a whole kingdom, a whole country. Uh, but the Zaya tells us that it's even more than that. It's a world. What is a world? It's a world of its own. What does a world mean? The Rambam explains that the value of a world means that when you put together all the values of the world, Mishashis and Meibreshis, Ad Shit Al Vinshnin, all of them together in one, Mechabas them all together, from every person in the world, that's called the world. And if you put all that value, a Masech is more than that. All the values of the world and all the generations does not value the value of one year that learned the Masechta. And this person was enriched with the Masechta. It's interesting to see that the Zayar uses the Loshin Yoris, inherits. The Zayar does not use the Loshin Kone al Mechada. No, inherits the world. Why does the Zayar use the Loshin Yoris al Mechada? It goes on this Pasuk of Moirosh Akilas Yankiv. But why is it a Yerusha? Each one learned on his own. He didn't yashin it from anyone. And the answer is it's a Yerusha. Like Kuna, like Malchus. A Yerusha means it goes into his being. It becomes his being like a coin and a melech. It becomes part of his being. When he learns Shas, he learns a Masechta, he's Mas'ala. He's uplifted, he's Mas'raimim. When he learns a Masechta, it says, Kosve maluach libecha. Kosve malas masechta. The Torah is written on his lev, on luach alev. The, explain, the Beis Alevi explains that Torah Shabbat Shabbat is written on the Nisham of Ayid, and the Nisham of Ayid is like the claf for the Torah Shabbat just like the Torah Shabbat has a claf, the Torah Shabbat has a claf. And it goes in and enriches him and it makes him a better person. The Torah, that's why the Torah is called the Yerusha, Meresheth Kilas Yankiv, which means it goes into the Nisham of all of Klaus, and all of Klaus is enriched by the Torah that he learned. When Ayid learns Torah, it uplifts him and it makes him a better person. The Gemara tells us when Yid learns Torah, it's, it's noticeable in his Dibur, Dibur Ibn Akhasim Abriyas, Masoy Matoni Bamuna. He works different, he, he, he's faithful, he's a, he, he lives Bamuna, Erlich, and he speaks differently. He's Misraimim, he's another mensch, a mensch land Torah, Vet Ashtik Torah, becomes part of him, the Torah becomes part of him. And all of Kalal Yisol is one Nisham, and all of Kalal Yisol was Nisallah from this Torah. The Torah is the Torah is Chesed for all of us. Kavachayimah, when Klal Yisrael was this rabbi with so many limud of Shas, so many Shasen, so many people that were Messiah Shas, how much a greater of a Simcha is this for all of Klal Yisrael? But how can we reach the level and truly feel this Simcha? How do we feel it? We are mispal in the Tvilas Avis. Akein Hashem alakeinu b'shachveinu v'kumeinu nasiyah b'chokecha v'nismach b'divei seira secha. We ask and we say that we're going to have the Simchas HaToyra. And interesting, we do not say this in the Bichas Avarab in the morning. We do not mention the fact of Venismach Medivei Sarah Secha. And the reason for this is, is when could we say Venismach? When we can say Kehem Chayenu. When the Torah is our life. And when can we say Vehem Chayenu? When we can say Uvehem Nege Yoyim Mavalayla. When we are Mekayim Vogisa Bayoyim Mavalayla. There's two ways of being Mekayim Vogisa Bayoyim Mavalayla. The simple meaning is that we learn day and night, Tamir Chachamim Zitzin Olen and Toganacht. That's the first and the main kiyum of Vogisa Bayoyim of Alayla. And then this Vogisa Bayoyim of Alayla, which Chazal tells us with Perik Echad Shachas and Perik Echad Aris, when a, Torah, when a person starts his day with the Torah and finishes the day with the Torah, like Toysus explains, his mind is always on the Torah. Then it's the kiyum of Vogisa Bayoyim of Alayla. And then you can say, Kehem Chanyayinu, it's our life. That's what we live. We live for Torah. And when we feel that it's our life, we can tru truly feel the simcha of the Torah. We can feel the simcha of the Torah when we are connected with the Torah. We're connected with Tamil Chachamim. We're connected with Limana Torah. And when we are Amasameach with the Torah, we are showing that this is where our simcha is. That's when we can say, Kayim Chayene, we can say, Vinismach Medivis Seirah Secha. The Goyen called, the Goyen explains the Torah is called Shira versus Zmiris. It's an inner simcha that one feels the v'chaya oilam not abesechenu that the Torah is implanted in an inner being, and that's when we truly feel the v'nismach medivei seira secha. And this is a we came together to express this gavaldik simcha that Klal Yisrael was enriched with so much Torah, so much shas, and so many people that are learning Torah. And at this time, that we are sameik with the fact that Torah is nisrabi and Klal Yisrael, it's a time to give a shevach for hidoyah and to be misameik. With the fact that Torah is Baruch Hashem growing and blossoming in the whole world, Bichlal, it's an expression of a tremendous simcha that we have a rebuy of Torah and Klal Yisrael. We have so many Tamir Chachamim, Muflogim, Tamir Chachamim, Yungalait, that know in so many Mixayas are Torah. 
We have tens and thousands of your time, your Chachamim, Yeshivas, and Kailim that are sitting and learning by Mesiris Atsume, Mitai Toyri, Mitai Chatchak, or totally given over to the Toyri with a tremendous feeling of an Ismach, Medivi, Sarasecha, tremendous Ashrecha, Ba'olam Azeh, Betoivacha, Ba'olam Abo. We are expressing that we're feeling lucky and besimcha and happy the fact that so much Torah is being learned. The simcha is, we can feel the simcha, but the fact that we connect with the Torah, we connect with the Tamir Chachamim, and the Torah is our lives, then we can have the simcha. The gathering of so many thousands of Yidin to be Mesameach with the Torah is a tremendous covered at Torah. And the Gemara says, covered at Torah, or Odif. The Gemara, being Mesameach with the Ribi of Torah enriches all of Klal Yisrael. The Ibn Shalom should help that we should see the continuation of Torah growing in Klal Yisrael. The Yeshivas, the Kailalim, the Lende Torah, the Lende Dafa Yoyme, Yoyme. People are connected with the Torah. We should always feel the Simcha until the time comes when we will be, when it will be Meskayim, the Nevu of Amola, all its days, Hashem, Kimayim, Liyam, Echasim, Bebi, Esgoyal, Tzedek, Mehev, Yameinu, Amen. It is our honor to welcome Governor Phil Murphy of the great state of New Jersey, who joins us today. On behalf of Agudath Israel and all who are gathered here today, we extend our heartfelt thanks to Governor Murphy and his administration for their role in ensuring the success of this event. I want to share with you one of the most touching siyumim I ever met and I'm sure this will ins inspire all of you as well. Shimon Yehuda ben Rifke Yittel is a 10-year-old sweet child in Yeshiva's base at Toira in Lakewood, New Jersey. Three years ago at the age of seven, Shimon Yehuda was found with a brain tumor. The situation was so tough that the doctors wouldn't even try. His father got advice of Rav Yitzchak Kolodetsky Shlita, the son-in-law of Morana Rav Chaim Kanievsky Shlita, that he should learn with him a Masechta in his own time and then make a Siyam. In the past three years, Shimon Yehuda went through a lot of surgeries and treatments, but he never gave up on his daily learning of Masechta's brachas. Day after day, in the most difficult times, before a painful surgery or after exhausting dose of chemotherapy, he would learn even for five minutes. It was tough, it was hard, but he wouldn't even skip a day. Five weeks ago, Tuesday, Parshas Chayesara, Shimon Yehuda traveled to Florida for a difficult surgical procedure. His mother prepared everything needed for the trip, but Shimon Yehuda also prepared himself. Yes, three days before he flew to Florida, he was zoichet to make his own siyam on the entire Masechta's brachas, which was celebrated with tremendous simcha. This is not just another siyam. This was a siyam of a Masechta learned with Mesiris Nefesh. The entire Pamalia Shelmala looked from above and called out to Hashem, how wonderful are your children, Am Yisrael. Shimon Yehuda Brodsky is here with us today. Please join me in giving Shimon Yehuda a truly well-deserved round of applause. Shimon Yehuda, you are a truly source of chizik to all of us. In the by this gathering of Simcha Satira, on behalf of the whole Klal Yisrael, I want to wish you that you should make a siyum on all your treatments and surgeries, and you should be zoiche to steig and make your own entire siyum ashas. Thank you.
Thank you. It is now a great schus to hear Divrei Bracha from the Novominsky Rebbe Shlita, Harav Yankov Perlo, Raisha Gudis Yisrael Chavra Mayetz Eskidai Le'at Haira, Novominsky Rebbe. Dear friends, This is a great yomtiv for Klal Yisrael. The Gemara tells us in the name of Abaya that when a young Talmud of his completed a Masechta, one single portion of the entire Shas. He celebrated the occasion with the entire Yeshiva. Today, a great segment of our Torah people, the Am HaTorah, celebrates the completion of all of Shas. And thousands upon thousands have assembled here today to give living expression to this historic accomplishment, to this sacred idea, because we all sense inwardly, deeply, its profound meaning. The Simcha reflects in its depth, in its message, the famous phrase of Rapsad Yegoin, Ein umaseinu umma el b'terasa. Our people is a people only by virtue of its Torah. It is the essence of Jewish na nationhood. Think for a moment. The great empires of ancient times, the Dalad Malchias, as Chazal referred to them, the Babylonian Empire, Malchus Babel, the Persian Empire, Malchus Poras, the Greek Empire, Malchus Yavon, the Roman Empire, Malchus Edoin, Malchus Roimi, have long ceased to exist. They fell apart because there, there was no Nishama, no Nishmas Chayim to keep them alive. But Klal Yisrael is alive. It is alive despite Chorben Beis Hamikdash, despite persecution and pain, despite the Crusades, despite the recent Chorben Europe brought upon us by those carriers of Western civilization who have made Sinas Yisrael part of their philosophy of life. Even now, in this Malchus Shel Chesed, that is America, we are reminded almost daily that anti-Semitism is on the rise and Jews are attacked and hated because, because they are Jews. What is then the secret of Netzach Yisrael, the secret of the survival of our people, the Torah Kedusha, which we cling to, which we've studied and studied and are st still studying and learning. And we sing to this day with David HaMelech and Tilim, Mu'ahavti Serosecha, Kalayemi Sichosi. The Torah is our joy and our ultimate protection. And this is why we're all here today.
principally it is a simcha and yontif for those dedicated individuals who have struggled through difficult mesechtas, who have spent mornings and evenings, day after day, and every free moment, week after week, and have submitted to the Ol HaTayra, to the yoke of Torah, to study Torah. They and their families are the major mechotonim at this simcha. But they are joined also by all Lam De Taira, the Talmidei Haishibis, the Chavri HaKolalim, who make Tairasim Omanusam, whose entire day and week is one of Limud HaTaira, that great and wonderful group of whom we are so proud, Anachis Tzim Klal Yisrael. And we are joined also by the multitudes of Eil Chayidin who can't keep up with the Daf Yaimi, but are nonetheless All these people here today, who have come from near and far to celebrate together and become re-inspired, they came to give wondrous expression to the words we say at Marav each night. We say to Hashem Yisbarach, we rejoice with your Torah and mitzvahs forever. For they nurture us with life, long life. The word here indicates the fundamental idea that the Torah is not only a treasury of knowledge, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's wisdom, it is also a challenge of behavior. The word Torah relates to the word Meire, a teacher. It teaches us how to live, how to confront the choices we constantly meet up with, how to respond to modernity, to technology, to relationships with other people. The Torah contains an answer to all shyness of life. And to the pitfalls of technology. Limud Torah, besides being a supreme value in itself, the Talmud Torah connected Kulam is also the medium of uplifting us from the street culture and infusing us with rem musachayim. And that is meant by the b'raisa and pirkei yavis, al It raises and elevates the student of Torah lishma above the mundane and ordinary. I'd like to say a word now to our brethren in Eretz Yisrael, to those who have strayed from the path but are the, but are the powers that be in the political sense. The Torah challenges every yid, everywhere, but, but it particularly challenges those who live in the Holy Land, Be'eretz HaKodesh. Most of them have a good idea of what Torah life means, yet choose to ignore its values. Remember, you too were meant to be part of the Amech Kolom Tzadikim. You too can be part of the Am HaTorah. But you must remember that Yerushalayim was not meant to be New York or Paris or Hong Kong nor any other secular venue. Yerushalayim is the residence of the Shechina HaKadosha on earth. Do not violate the comfort of the Shechina. Eretz Yisrael is described in Chumash as Eretz Asher Hashem Alekecha Deireish Eisra. Tamid Eine Hashem Alekecha Bo. May Reish Yisrael Adach Lishona. See that you care for Eretz Yisrael 
as HaKadosh Baruch who cares for it, by allowing its neshama to flourish. We are misfathered at all times for Achenu Bnei Yisrael Beretz HaKadosh, for all those people living there. L'manachai v'reyoy adab b'na sholem b'och. L'man beis Hashem alakeinu avak shotei v'loch. Come back to the Bata Knesiyas, the Bata Medroshis of our day. Understand the meaning of this great Simcha. Join us in davening, in learning, in Kiyam HaMitzvahs. Consider it a schus and a privilege to help yeshivas and Lamdi Teira preserve Kedushat, preserve Kedushat HaShabbos and provide for a Teira Chinuch for your own children as well as ours, so that you and they come back to your eternal existence as an Am Hashem and an Am HaTayra. Finally, Baruch HaLekeinu Shabaronu Lechvaydei V'yibdilonu Menatoyim V'nosan lonu Teiras Emes V'chai Eilam Nota B'Sechainu Adantem Rabbeinu Shalolam V'shmi Omzeicha Givain Haint Epis Mechabed Zayn V'Teira the ish is chayol from our lives. The ish yiras Hashem mitesalo. Yirotzen, and with our lives, we see more and more. As Hashem chofetz l'man tzitkei, yagdel teira v'yadil, and the shrus hatayra, that we buy stein, yidn zon geholfen werden, the chol mishalas levavim letayva, and we zon alle zeiche zayn to zayn, when the chomas tiyam v'yirushaloyim. Im Heere wie Amen, O Amen. Fantastic. I'll hold it. o'clock in the morning, it's 20 below outside, I gotta get my car started. It's at the most unglamorous times where the godless daf yomi is realized. There's always a daf that needs to be learned. No day can go by without learning Sarah. The most demanding harusa you can get is daf yomi. There's no being tired, there's no vacation, there's no Yom Kippur, no Tisha B'Av, there's nothing. You gotta do the daf yomi. It's like breathing. There's not a person that can say he took vacation of breathing. One of the first things that gets packed into my briefcase is my Gemara. When you wake up in the morning, is you have that objective throughout the day. When am I going to do the daf? Is it in the morning? Is it in the afternoon? Is it in the car? Is it on the train? Is it on the plane? Whenever it is, it's got to be done. It's got to get done by the end of the day. I will not go into the office if I don't do the daf. Every day, I come home late at night, it's part of me. Like, I get dressed, I can eat, this is a part of the day. It used to be that I had to fit in learning into my day. Now I have to fit my day into the daf. Daf Yomi is a life changer. It becomes really the focus of your life. So it's really about living the daf rather than just learning the daf. The chevra of Daf Yomi is like just a, a big happy family. Everyone, all different types of people together, and we feel like family. Whether it's Simchas that we share together, or it's Siyum that we share together, one guy's not here in the share, you, you feel he's missed. When one of the Bnei Chabur makes a chasana, we don't cancel the share, we learn Daf Yomi by the chasana. I'm amazed at the dedication that my Magad Shir has. It's dark outside, cold and miserable, and he's there you know, through thick and thin. And when the rabbi comes in so well prepared, so ready to give us his knowledge, it's amazing. I come from a very assimilated family. Coming from where I come, that I'm finishing the Shas. I didn't grow up religious. I'm a Balchuva. I grew up in a secular school. And every day, you know, this thing keeps me really religious. If it wasn't for the Daf Yomi, I wouldn't be learning that. Learning Daf Yomi doesn't always come easy. No matter what, we strive to do it. To go in the handicap vehicle, in case of wheelchair, 
in cold weather, it is made of gold and endemic. A man cannot do the daf without the support of his wife. Certainly to be part of any daf yomi group, whether you're teaching it, whether you're learning it, of course it's sheli, v'shalachem, shalahi, and they're as much a part of this simcha as the men who are being the same. And having her support, knowing that she's holding down the fort while I'm spending time learning, it's a family endeavor. There's no greater nachas hearing from my three-year-old daughter every single day. Where's daddy going? And mommy says, daddy's going to shul to learn. It connects you to Jews throughout the world. Fellowship of people who do the daf. You know, you can walk them to a daf in another place and they're on the same page you are. You can go anywhere and you don't lose your shear. It adds an, a new dimension to Lima da Torah. You're basically connecting, you're plugging in to Klal Yisrael. It actually happens that you're traveling and you meet somebody in the airport and they see your Gemara and as soon as they see your Gemara, you have a bond with that other Jew. But if he's going to serve, but if he's going to serve Hashem, maybe, is what I catch up. Don't ever give up, always start. People say it's difficult to understand if it is, and it is difficult, but don't give up. You always, if you try, you're going to make it. Don't miss a day. Start learning Dafa Yomi right now, this very day. There's no question that anybody who decides they want to do this and can do this and it will change your life. At this time, we would like to welcome the more than one million Achenu B'nai Yisrael, our Jewish brothers and sisters, tuning in from more than 30 countries around the globe. It is now our zechus to be mechabed, Rav Yisachar Frand, Rosh Yeshiva Yeshivas Ner Yisrael Baltimore, to address the Siyam. Yeshus, Reish HaGudas Yisrael, Ho'ad Murmindu Mavinsk, Kerry Moetzes Gdele Hatera, Ron of Rabban of Rabbeisai. A childless woman once traveled from Bnei Brak to Yushalayim Yerakadesh, which in those days was an arduous journey. She came to ask the Briskarov for a bracha that she should be Zeicha to a child. She explained to the Rav's son that she had been married for many years and how desperate she was. The Rav's son was so moved that he asked his father if he could see her right away. The Briskarov told his son to tell the woman to come back later. She came back once again and again the Briskarov told the woman to come back that evening. She came back that evening and the Rav gave her a heartfelt bracha. After the woman left, the son asked his father, the Rav, why three times? And the Rav explained that that night he was making a siyam on Mesech Vachim. He said that the time of the Siyam is an ace rotzain, an opportune and propitious time. And he wanted to give her a bracha at that shas rachamim of the Siyam. A year later, the woman had a healthy baby boy. If the Siyam of one mesechta is what the Briskarov called an ace rotzain, can we begin to fathom what an auspicious moment they see him of all of Shas by hundreds of thousands of Yidin is like? And maybe it is Kedai in this moment of time, this ace rotzain, to ask the Rebbeinu Shalolam for all that you may need, both on a personal level and for all of Klal Yisrael. And he will hopefully respond as he did to Shleim HaMelech at the time of the first Siyam HaTera. Vayemer Elohim Sha'al Ma'atein Loch. Ask and I will give you. But perhaps there is another, something else that we should do in these precious moments. And that's to reflect on the emotions that are going through our hearts and minds at this moment as we gather here with thousands of other Yidin. What is it that we are feeling? I'm sure that there's an entire spectrum of emotions. Simcha, excitement, passion, feeling of achdus, a sense of history. And for those of you who have finished Shas, there is a legitimate and deserved 
sense of pride in what you have accomplished. But even for those of you not making a siyum, there's also a sense of pride. Pride that I am part of this vast Olam HaTayra and proud how far we have come in the last 75 years since the great Churban of Europe. And that should lead us all to a sense of gratitude and akoras hatev to the Rebbeinu Shlalem, who b'chazdei hagodol has rebuilt Klal Yisrael on the Olam HaTayra. And the key ingredient in that renaissance and that rebirth has been Taira b'chlal and limud hatalmud b'frat. Mr. Joseph Friedison, a historian and the editor of the Das Yiddish Shavart, remembered when he was a young boy and the Nazis came into his house to steal money. On the way out, the soldiers noticed his father's bookcase with a large set of Vilnius Shas. They asked him, what are those books? Innocently and naively, he responded and he says, those are the books of the Talmud. These are Mr. Friedison's words as he describes what happened next. I will never forget the Nazi's reaction as if a cauldron of boiling water had fallen on his bare skin, he jumped up, his face contorted in rage. Then with a diabolical hatred and brutality, the Nazis threw the volumes on the floor and began kicking them with their heavy boots. When that was not successful in destroying the heavily bound volumes, they took out the shas, ripping page by page until they threw it onto the street below. Because an integral component of the anti-Jewish philosophy of the Nazis was its hatred for the Talmud. One of the first decrees that the Nazis when they took over Poland was that no exit visas be, by Orthodox Jews would be accepted. The title that they gave from Jews was Talmud Lehrers, Talmud Teachers, and Talmudische Juden. They proclaimed, and listen to this, the learners and the teachers of the Talmud have the power to rebuild Judaism in America. And guess what? They were 100% correct. And you are those Talmud lehrers and those Talmudische Juden. Sitting here today is a Holocaust survivor, a Talmud of Ramichal Bear Weismandel. His grandson cocked me and said, why, why is he here today? Because when Ramichal Weismandel was negotiating with Alois Brunner, Adolf Eichmann's lieutenant, Yamach Shemom, to spare thousands of poor Slovakian Jews because he told them, they're not rich bankers, what do you want from them? And Brunner replied, these Jews will yet ask, will take the Bible to America. And this elderly Holocaust survivor is here because in his words, I want to be here to see the Bible in America. And what is true on a national level is true on an individual level as well. Just as Tyra and Talmud are the oxygen that keep Klal Yisrael alive, without which we would wither as a nation. And even, as even the Nazis understood, this is true on an individual level as well. A Yid without limud atera in some form will eventually decline and wither and wane in this Yiddishkeit. We do not fully understand and comprehend and appreciate what limud atera does to the soul of a Yid. And that is the transformative supernatural power of the Torah on the Yiddish Nishama. 
Here's a story of one individual, but I'm sure that it applies to many, many others. Quote, I was floating through life, being less connected and less serious about my Yiddishkeit. It had been many years since I made any sort of effort to attend Minyanim uh, during the week, and I had not opened a safer in years. And then, on one hot, humid day in August of, 9th of 2012, he attended the Siyam Ashas in this very stadium. And he was inspired to start learning Daf Yaimi. And today, he is a different man. Quote, for me, it all started with Daf Yaimi, the concept of every single day, regardless of whatever daily frustrations and challenges come our way, I could settle in with my new friends, the Tanoim and Amoroim, and set aside everything else and find Menucha Sanefesh with the Gemara. One thing led to another, and I started to grow in my Yiddish guide and started to feel a more serious and meaningful Kesher with the Rebbeinu Shalolam. Both of my sons give Gemara Shiurim to Balabatim at night, and both report that the wives of these men express the feeling that their, quote, their husbands are different men. They are better husbands, better fathers, and better Yidin. And that is something that all women should keep in mind. Because having a husband learn that Dafiyami requires great sacrifices on your part. But besides the myths of Talmud Taira that you will share in the Ilam Abba, you will see immediate benefits in this world as well. You will have a different husband. During the last Shemitah, a group of non-Frum Israelis were convinced to keep the Shemitah. In order for them to do something with their free time, a kailu was organized and they sat and learned. But the wives were not happy with their decision. Where would the money come from? But then something happened. Their wives saw a metamorphosis in their husbands. Their husbands became different people, better husbands and better fathers and better human beings. The women then became their biggest supporters because they saw what Limud HaTayra does to a Jew. Rabbi Chaim Valozhener comments on the Loshen of the word in the Mishnah in Pirkei Yovis that the Mishnah says that Taira is Machshirosai Liyais Tzadik V'chassid. Why the word Machshirosai? Zok Reb Chaim Valozhener from the Loshen of Kasher. And just like Kashering purges a utensil of its trefa ingredients, so too Taira purifies the person as well. And how it does that is beyond human comprehension. It is a gzeris hakosuv. It is a chayk. Reb Simcha Zisel Brody, Zecher Tzadik Nivrocha, Chevrona Rashiva, once commented on the famous Rashi in Parshas Buchu Kaisai, in Buchu Kaisai Teilechu, says Rashi, Shetiyu Amelim Batera. If you will walk in my chukim, Zok Rashi, it means Lima Datera. But why is Teira referred to as a chayk? Teira isn't a chayk. Shatness is a chayk. Shatness is something that we don't understand. But Limana Teira is all about Svara, understanding logic. The answer, said Rav Simcha Zisel, is that this is referring to the Kaya HaTeira, the transformative power of Teira to change the human being, or as Rav Simcha Zisel wrote, Mashayesh B'Teira Skulais, the power of Torah to elevate and transform the person. I know somebody who started a his Kailo life in Eretz Yisrael. He moved into an apartment building in which none of the people were from. He wanted to start a shir with them. So he asked the Nodam Goto what he should learn with them. He was thinking something along the lines of the Mesilas Yisharm or Chavis Halavavis. The Adam Godam told him, Tilmod Itam Bava Kama. 
And when he asked Adam Gadol, Bava Kama, isn't that somewhat esoteric? Is it not relevant? And the Adam Gadol told him, Ata lo ma'min b'kayach ha'torah. You don't believe in the power of Torah. And guess what? Those people became from because of learning Bava Kama. What's the takeaway message from this incredible event? To walk away from here without something practical, something lamaisa, would be a terrible waste. For those of you who have finished Shas, you must take it to a, a new level. The Aguda has a list of 32 different programs in all sorts of technologies and formats to enhance your learning, whether in terms of helping you retain more what you learn, or to understand better, or to make, to, or to mamish be kind of a mesechta, or to make your own plan. Write down a ha'ora or two, a comment on two, in every daf in shas, you will look back seven and a half years later, and you will see you have a notebook that's full of, of learning, and, and ha'oras on shas, that's your, 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 your shas or look up the Rambam and every single daft that there's a Rambam so you can walk away with a halacha lamaisa. And for those of you who haven't finished Shas, look around here, or look around in shul. You may be sitting next to someone who finished Shas. That person should inspire you. If he can do it, why can't I? Once Rav Palm once commented, on a chazal, Misha Haya Raya David Miyad Chaisel Talmudai. Any person who saw David Amela would right away go back to his learning. Rav Pam asked, Why? Says Rav Pam, here was David Hamelech, king of an entire nation, running the affairs of state, waging wars, fending off different rebellions and plots, and yet we see how much Torah meant to David HaMelech. David HaMelech mentions Torah no less than 23 times in all of Sefer Tilim, including such famous psukim as Zedim Elitsuni Ad Ma'oid, Ma'ohafti Seyrosecho Hi Sichasi Hi Kalayayim, and Lulei Seyroscho Shashuai Ozavadati Mionye. We may not have David HaMelech to inspire us, but we have a neighbor, someone in shul, a fellow in the office, and we see his devotion to the daf, no matter what, that should have the same effect as David HaMelech, Mishara David Chayzer Talmudai. And seeing that it can be done is what inspired the following person. Listen to this story. By his own admission, he wasn't exactly what we would call a learner. Neither I nor my wife had any real spiritual aspirations when we got married. Sure, we wanted to build a from home, but the particulars were nebulous. My wife didn't care that I wasn't going to Minyan. Tarot learning was merely a suggestion. If it happened, great. If it didn't happen, so also great. Our primary concern was how we, much fun we can have and the highlight of our week was Saturday night. He only came to this see him because he wanted to see last time what 100,000 Yidin looked like. And then he writes, the see him was an impressive event, but what really made an impact on me was the video of regular people from all walks of life saying, I finished Shas. I finished Shas. Long story short, by the time the fellow got to Seder Kochim, he was giving the Dafya Mishir. And it is no longer a Saturday night to them. Now it's Motsoi Shabbos. That's what it means. Mishira David Miyad Chaisila Talmudoi. There is an important lesson to learn from this person. When he asked himself, why can't I finish Shas? He didn't say, that's ridiculous. Why should I even start? Do I actually think that I can keep this up for 2,711 days? And what will happen when I get to the difficult Mesechtis of Yavamis, 
Croesus and Erevin. Unfortunately, too many people make that mistake. They tell themselves, why bother? Why start? I can't finish. Then why begin? And anyone who thinks that way doesn't understand one of the great truths of life. And that is the perfect is the enemy of the good. It's the mindset of people who think that if I can't achieve perfection, then what's the point? And as a result, even the good is never achieved in all areas of life. But half of Shas is better than none of Shas. And one Seder is better than none. And one Mesechta is good, even if it's not perfect. And don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. The Medrash speaks about two people who come into the base Medrash. One looks around and he sees people learning. He says, gee, that looks like exciting. And he asks the people, what do I do to be able to learn? And they start telling him what he has to learn. First you start with Chumash, and then you start with Nevi'im, and then you start with Ksuvim. And the person says, if that's what I have to do, then forget it. And he walks out of the base Medrash. Chazal used a pejorative on him. And that pejorative is a tipesh, he's a fool. And yet Chazal referred to the same person who walks in and he says, where do I start? And instead, He's a pikeach because he knows the old expression that a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step and finishing shas begins with one blot. And he knows the wisdom of the perfect is the enemy of the good. Chazal say at the end of the days, this is an incredible matter, Shanecha, that we punish Shalom will come to Klal Yisrael and he say, Bonai, Anitama Mikem, my children, I'm amazed. Heich, him tamten koloisa hashonim. How did you wait so long? How did you endure the gullis? How did you keep at it? And Klau Yisrael will respond, If it wouldn't be for the Torah, we would have been lost. That's what has kept us here. Lulei Seiroscha Sha'ashuei Oz of Aditi Bonyi. Chaim was known for his left of his good heart. He was a very sensitive person. My family dedicated this Le'ili Nishmas, our parents. It's not only our parents, it's all the parents and perhaps from tens of thousands of people that are here and around the world, Holocaust survivors, those that went through the Milchama. These Gibori Koyach, Anche Chayil, are the ones that put away the Yesoides, wherever they were, upon which we built we were able to build and continue giving over to our kids and our grandkids, and this is what we have, Billy and R and L. You should grow, Mikhail and Choyl, and be as good as can. Amen, Mazel Tov. Hi, and welcome to my Snidi Asim. Today's daily winner is.
My dear children of the Masmide Hasim, look around at the close to 100,000 Yidin gathered here today. Know that we are joined as well by hundreds of thousands around the world. We all celebrate your phenomenal accomplishment. You have not only become Masmidim, but Masmide Hasim. The Torah you have learned has inspired us, it has inspired our friends, it has inspired our families, and energized the entire world. Indeed, Chazal teach, Eina Oila Miskayen, Ela Bishchus, Hevel Piem, Shel Tinoika Shel Beis Rabban. You, my dear children, are holding up the world. We are a Chazinish, we are a Chofetz Chaim, and a Chaim Oiza, and a Chofetz You too can get to that level. Each one of you can become a big, big Talmud Chochman, a God of Israel. Hashem should give you a blessing that you should grow, have koyach to grow in Torah until you reach the highest heights possible for you. Kindalach, today is all about you and you becoming Shas Yidin and you learning Torah. Because one day they'll come to you for brachas because you sit and learn and give your free time to learn our Shas so you can become Shas Yidin. You are the future of Klai Yisrael. You are the future of Torah. You are the future of Yiddishkeit. And you'll be up here one day. One day you'll be up here. All of you will be up here one day Teaching and learning with Kal Yisrael Mitzvah Show. Tire Kindle. Look at the Simcha. You are part of the Simcha. But Kindle. Let's be Mamshech. More Mishnahis. More Chomesh. More Gemara. And you will be a Messiah. Mazel Tov to all the Mishtatvim of Masmida Yassim from the whole and Boys, stay tuned as details for the next part of the Masmide Hasim program will be forthcoming very soon. Mazel tov and keep on steiging. We will now make a siyum on Shisha Sidre Mishnah on behalf of the more than 40,000 Masmide Hasiyim who collectively completed over three and a half million Mishnayas. It is our zechus to ask Rabbi Nassim Sherman, General Editor of Art Scroll, to teach the final Mishnah to our Tinoikais Shel Beis Rabon. <laughs> Welcome to the Siam. You here on the dais and you around us, you are representing hundreds of thousands of Bachrim all over the world who learned millions of Mishnayas. Let's now learn the last mission in the Sechta Uksin and make the Siam Mishnayas. Om Rabbi Shua ben Levi. Rabbi Shua ben Levi said, Osid HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in the future, will give every single tzaddik, and that means you, every single tzaddik, 310 worlds. Shunemar, as the Pusik says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, for those who love me, I have something very valuable, and I will fill up their storehouses. The word yesh equals 310. Now what does that mean, 310 worlds? How many worlds can there be? Here's what it means. Bakram, you know, all of you are looking forward to your bar mitzvah. A year and two years, Imagine how happy you'll be the first time you put on tefillin. At the bar mitzvah, you'll be dancing with your friends. They'll be picking you up on a chair. You'll be overjoyed. When you get your first kova, your borsalino, 
your summit to Kapolish, your 10-speed bike. Imagine the joy that you'll feel. And how long will you feel it? Minutes, hours, a few days? HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give you something that's 310 times as much, and it lasts forever. Let's continue the Mishnah. Omer Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi says, Osed HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Nope. Omer Rabbi Shimon ben Chalafta. Lemotz HaKadosh Baruch Hu kli machzik bracha li Yisrael. HaKadosh Baruch Hu could not find a keli, a vessel, that would carry bracha for Klal Yisrael Ela HaSholem. Only peace. That's it. When there's peace, all the brachas can be contained and remain. Shemamar, as the Pusik says, Hashem oiz li'amo yitain. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give strength to his people, strength to Klal Yisrael. Hashem yivorech es amoy basholem. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will bless his people with peace. The Vilna Goim says a marshal to explain this Mishnah. I'm holding here a little barrel. A barrel. A barrel, the Goim says, is made of many, many slats, pieces of wood. They're put together, bands are put around them to hold them together. You ever see good bottles of whiskey? 12 years old, 18 years old, 25 years old. They put that whiskey in a barrel like this, a lot bigger than this. They put it in the barrel and it ages. And the longer it stays there, the better it is. And the Goan explains, what if you have a barrel that has a leak? Two drops, two drops a day. And after 25 years, you open it up and you want to get that marvelous, awesome whiskey and the barrel is empty. The barrel is empty because a few drops a day dripped out. That's what the Mishnah means when it says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has a keli, a vessel that holds brocher for Klal Yisrael. You want to see what that vessel is? Look around. Look around. Tens of thousands of Yidin here in Barclay Center all over the world listening to us. And why are we here? To give a cover to the Torah, cover to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Bachrim, you made a siyam of the Mishnah. You made an enormous Kiddush Hashem. Mazel Tov Rabbeinu Shalaylam. Mazel Tov to your parents. Mazel Tov to you. Keep it up and keep on making siyumim. Mazel Tov. As we are about to start the Hadron, we proudly invite and request all assembled children to stand as proud Masmide Hasiyum. It is our Zuchus to ask Harav Chaim Ben Olil, Rosh HaYeshiva Yeshivas Mikdash Melech, to recite the Hadron on Mishnayis to be followed by Kaddish. <laughs> Vadrachalan, da tan alach sire taurot, vishita sire mishna, vada tachalan, la nit nishemilach se de taurot, shita sire mishna, vlatit nishemilan, la be almahaden, vla be almadate, hadran alach se de taurot, vishiras, shita sire mishna, vadrachalan, da tan alach sire taurot, vishita sire mishna, vada tachalan, La nit nishemilach se de taurot, vishita sire mishna, vlatit nishemilan, Label Maaden, Velabel Dadeate, Hadana Alach Seder Taurot, Shiasi de Mishna, the Adrahalan, the Atana Lach Seder Taurot, Shidasi de Mishna, the Atahalan, Lanit Nishemilach Seder Taurot, Shidasi de Mishna, Velatit Nishemilan, Label Maaden, Velabel Madeate, Harevna Adonai Loheno, the Vet Radha Befino, Viamahab in Israel, Venia Hulano Alachno with Sayeno with Sayes, Sayeno with Sayah Mahab in Israel. כולנו יוד אש שמחה ולומדי תורתך לשמה מאויבי תחכמני מצוותך כי לעולם היא לי 
יהי ליבי תמים בחוקיך למען לא אבוש, לעולם לא אשכח פיקודיך כי בם חייתני. ברוך אתה אדוני למדני חקוקיך אמן 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 סלע ואל. מודים אנחנו לפניך אדוני אלוהינו ולאבותינו ששמת חלקנו מיושבי בית המקדש ולא שמת, שמת חלקנו מיושבי קרנות שאנו משכימים והם משכימים אנו משכימים לדברי תורה והם משכימים לדבלים בטלים אנו עמלים והם עמלים אנו עמלים ומקבלים שכר והם עמלים ואינם מקבלים שכר אנו רצים והם רצים אנו רצים לחיי העולם הבא והם רצים לבאר שחת שנאמר ואתה אלוהים תורידם לבאר שחת אנשי דמים ומרמה לא יחצו ימיהם ואני אבטח בך ירסון בפניך אדוני אלוהים ולאבותינו כשם שעזרתנו לסיים סדר תעלות שיטה סדר משנה כן תעזרנו להתחיל סדרים אחרים וסיימם ללמוד לעמד מתוך הרחבה לשמור ולעשות ולקיים מכל דברי תלמוד תורתך באהבה וזכות כל, זכות כל התנאים ותלמידי חכמים הנזכרים בסדר קדשים וכל הסברים בשישה שידי מילה שלמדנו יעמוד לנו זרנו זרע זרנו שלא תמו שהתורה הקדושה מפינו ומפי זרי זר, זר, זרנו זרע זרנו מעתה ועד עולם ויקוים בנו מכה שכתוב בהתהלכך תנחה אותך, אות, אות, אותך ושוכבך תשמור עליך וקיצות ההיא תשיחך כבי ירבו ימיך ויוסיפו לך שנות חיים אורך ימים במינה בשמאלה עושר וכבוד אדוני עוז לעמו ייתן אדוני יברך לעמו ושלום Please rise for Kaddish ZANG <laughs> בחיי חוין ובימי חוין ובחיי דכל בית ישראל והגולו בזמן קורא ואמרו אמן יהא שמי רבו מבורך לעולם אומר מיו יזבורך וישתבח ויספואר וישומם וישנשא וישדור וישלה וישלול שמי דקודשו בריחו לאלו מן כל בכוסו ושירוסו תשבחוסו ונחמוסו, נמירון בעולמו ואמרו אמן. על ישראל ועל רבנון, ועל תלמידי הוין, ועל כל מאות תלמידי אי תלמידי הוין, ועל כל מאן דעוסקים בורייסו, די בעשרו הדין ודי בכל עשר ועשר. יהי לאוין לכל שלמה רבו חינו וחסדו ורחמים, וחיים עריכין, זוני רביחי, ופורקונו ומנהו ושמעיו, דאריו ומאמן. יהי שלמה רבו מן שמעיו וחיים עולינו ועל כל ישראל במרוא אמן. הוא יעשה שלום עם אמו והוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל במרוא אמן. We ask everyone to join along in singing this special tefillah on behalf of all children at this tremendous Eis Ratzon. Oh, 
Activities, just like he eats and sleeps and walks the street and breathes fresh air, every yachid must learn Torah. This is Kihem Chayenu V'Erch Yemenu in its simplest meaning and its profound message. Someone that does have Kviyasit in La Torah, what Torah does, read the Pirkei Yavos, Torah gives Chayim. Torah gives Oisha. Eitz Chayim Yilam Achazikim Bo. Torah has all the brachas of the world. Learn and see then you appreciate you be part of it. And that's what everybody should be part of Torah. Should be part of Torah and become different. From the beginning of Sheish Simei Breshis till today, the Kiyam Oilam is because of Torah. B'shvil HaTorah Shinnikah It's not only Kiyam Oilam, the Kiyam Oviyid Ba'olam, the Chiyas of the whole world is the Bar Oilam. And connecting with the Bar Oilam is the only one way to connect with HaKadosh Baruch Hu Sulem and HaTorah. Rashi in his commentary on Chumash, Quotes from the Tanoi, we have to ask Hashem Alakecha. We say every day, twice a day in Kriyashma, how does one develop a love? Well, you advarm ha'ila by learning Torah. By learning Torah, we come closer, we get to understand a little bit, Derech Mashal, what the Rabbani Shalom is all about. And in Mele, if you know something about him, it's shaykh to fall in love with him. Kudei Hashem Yesharim Esam There's nothing that can make a person more happier than that blood Gemara. The Torah hot Zwei Tachlis. The Torah is an adapter. The Torah is the Eibishter. When I learn the Torah, it's a mechiber, mechisher, and duvet the Eibishter. It becomes one. If it can't be that for me, then it can still be in a Masechta that we learn, as many thousands have done in the Chavri Yassim, to celebrate together with the Messiah Medaf Yoyimi. To think that Chavri Yassim, in such a short period of time, has changed the lives of thousands and thousands of people across the globe, finishing Masechtas and Shas collectively. There are people who for years have never learned Gemara. Thought it was impossible. They are learning Gemara again. They're doing it and they're enjoying it. They're taking on their people coming back and saying, I want more Dafim, I want to be able to do more. I've watched the Balabatim and the Shul that have joined the Dafyoimi, Chari Asiyim, or any other learning program. The difference that it's made to them and their families have been life-changing. This is what the Siyam Asas can generate. An Avasat Torah, a Sogas By every single Yuit, 
more than anything else, the gathering of all these Yidin to come together and remind ourselves that the ikr of the Bria is that we started Har Sinai. Let's remind ourselves what we're about. There's nothing else that counts. Not for us, not for our kids, not for our grandparents, not for our grandchildren. Everyone, therefore, inspired by this event of Bliyayin Ho, so many Jews coming together to celebrate the Siyam, the learning of Teresh Peh, should undertake himself to be Kaveh Yitma to make time for himself to learn every single day at a particular time so that he can contribute to the connection which the Jewish people has with HaKadosh Baruch. We respectfully request everyone please find your seats. It is now our zechus to be Mechabed Reb Aaron Schiff, Mora de Asra Machzike Hadas, and Chief Rabbi of Antwerp to address the Siyan. Es is a great COVID in Zchis Yet Mechavet Sezan Haguen Reb Aaron Schiff Schlite, Guen Av based in Antwerpen, Zi addressen dem Siyan. The gathering of the heads of the nation. The precious of all the leaders and teachers of Torah, rabbis, Rosh Hashivas, with the gathering of all the heads, the gathering by this Siyam, together with the Tanam and Amaram, Rishonim, Rashi, Toysvis, thousands and thousands of Jews have learned for these seven years without any doubt that the Rishonim, Achreinim, and the Tanam Amram are gathering with us. The Medrash says about Yankov Avinu that he went on his way to Malach Elikim, met him. The Medrash says Yankov Avinu gathered his Torah and mitzvahs from the house of Lovan, and he traveled the Medrash Dance before him without any doubt. We would be able, if we would have been there, we would be able to see groups and groups of angels all created from all of the Gemara and all of the Dafim of the Shas that stand with us here. If we would be able to see them with the joy of all of the angels in heaven, together with all of the tens of thousands of Jews who have ended chas, them, their parents, and the el grandparents, all of the generations before in heaven are gathering here together with the joy of finishing the Torah, together with all of the women who stood with their husbands, giving away from their time, taking the household work upon themselves so their husbands should be able to concentrate on their Torah. I have come from Antwerp to speak not just to speak, but to look around and learn and see over 90,000 Jews in cold weather. The love of Torah, the fire of Torah, which is in every Jew, <clears throat> to those who learn Torah, they don't care about the cold weather. I come to learn from them, to see, look at this great, great gathering of people, precious people. What gathered them together? What brought them together? Tamid Chachamim, workers, Litvish, Hasidim, elders, young, what gathered them all together? What is the power that united them? The Gemara Bracha says, Ben Zayna said when he saw the gathering on the Harabayas, it was a great, great gathering on Harabayas, that base of Migdash. He said, Baruch Chacham Harazim. <coughs> Blessed is the wise of the secrets. <coughs> and his wondering was, who unites them? He sees everybody see, is standing there with a great purpose. 
So Rashi explains that Hashem knows what's in the heart of all of them. That's what's uniting them. The desire in their heart in every Jew has a fire in him that comes out in these opportunities that people come to be joyous with the joy of Hashem. The gathering today that we have gathered, not for eating, not for drinking, all just to join with Hashem. Hashem is our God and a great covet for Torah. This calls out this tells everyone that Hashem knows what's in the hearts of all of these. The truth is the Dafayomi, which the Lublina Rebbe inaugurated, <coughs> and the Aguda spread it all over. I can't believe that the Lublina Rebbe would have realized that would come a time hundred years later, hundred thousand Jews more and more that are finishing Shas and join in the learning of Daf Yoimi. The, the Daf Yoimi symbolized the unity. Every Jew with the Torah, every Jew in the time to the, another one that they should be able to speak in the same portion of Torah. It could be that the Oblina Rebbe took his source from the Gemara and Saif Saita. What does the world stand upon? What is the world's power to exist? The Gemara says, the Kodesh, Kodesh, Kodesh that we say, that the Amit Chacham and Amit Oret say, Rashi says, that because they learn to every day together, this is precious to Hashem. The Lubin Rebbe with the Imre Emes and the Charkva and other holy, holy rabbis saw the Gemara in the Ikvis and the Mashiach at the end of Masech Saita. How will the world exist at the end of time? So it must be the Torah that everyone learns together. This gives the power to be able to withstand the difficulties that we go through. How meritorious is our portion, all of those who are being Messiah, so meritorious with all the Masechtas that we spoke about. Somebody who in, learns a Masechta inherits that Masechta, inherits worlds, complete worlds, but precious Jews, we're not talking about worlds of Olam Haba, which we can't see or understand. We're talking about this world, world in, live in this life, a life that is through Torah is a different life. It's a life that's worth living. I'll tell you a story about somebody in America. It could be he is actually here be, between us. A lot know of him. Rav David Weiss. Rav Ram David Weiss. Hashem should send him a Rafu Shalem quickly. This Rav Ram David, unfortunately, many years before, the doctor said he has the sickness ALS, which affects all of his nerves and muscles. He became weaker and weaker, unfortunately. The only thing that was left is movement of his eyes. That through a computer, looking at his pupils, he can connect with everyone and communicate. And his Rebetzin told me that many years before he had a tremendous infection, according to all his difficulties, there was no way to take care of him only in Columbia Hospital and a great professor, doctor there, unfortunately a Jew who was lost from the Torah, was taking care of him. They connected him to all of the machines and computers to take care of him. And the doctor used to visit him every day. And the doc doctor came with 10, 20 students that came to study and learn from this doctor. One day, he goes in the fourth week. He said, all the students, please go out. I want to stay myself with Rabbi Weiss. So Rabbi Weiss with his wife and the doctor 
the doctor came to Rabbi Weiss and says, Rabbi Weiss, I want to ask you something. You see me, I am an educated, world-renowned physician. They come from all over the world. I have wealth, I have a beautiful house, a large house, a car of most luxurious, two children, great lawyers, and have the greatest enjoyable vacations. But I feel an emptiness in my life. I don't feel happy with my life. I come into you, and the doctor says, you're like, uh, like a dead person. You can't live. And every day you have your smile on your face, and you're so happy with your life. How do you do that? And the Rebetzin said, he wants the, her husband wants the answer. She brought her, his computer there. He told the professor through the computer, I can't explain it to you. I don't have wealth. I don't have cars. I don't have anything but the daf yaimi that I learn every day that gives me life, happiness, wealth. If you didn't taste it, you can't feel it, you can't understand it. You could be the greatest professor with all of the physical enjoyments. I'm not talking about the life, enjoying life. Enjoying life really is only according to Torah. The Torah is up says in Eben Ezra, Abbas Talmud Chochem is, is someone who takes a Talmud Chochem because she understands that she's taking Olam Haba and she's giving up this world. No, Abbas Talmud Chochem really is someone, she wants to live a life in this world, a Torah life in this world. That's a real life of enjoyment in this world. That's what gives happiness. How happy we should be after all of these blat kamara. Besides the Olam Haba that for sure will come, but you get the life in this world of enjoying the spiritual enjoyment in this world. And how great is our portion together to, to, in this great gathering of Kavod HaTayra. It's unbelievable. 90,000 Jews in their festival that are wasting their time. We gather together to be joyful and be happy with the ending, the seam of the Shas. The honor for Tyra, this will, this is the keeps the Jewish nation. This keeps us for the future. The Gemara and Megillah says that Kavod Tyra of an individual is more than teaching many. And here is Kavod Tyra of thousands of Jews that finish Shas. The Kavod Tyra is without measure. We see Abaya, he was a Rosh Hashiva, he said, Bring me a rabbi that finished a Masech, I'll make a Yom Tif, a celebration. The Gemara in Arevim says, that he didn't have bread to make the Shittuf Mavois, to gather the people in the Mavi. But when it came a Siyam, he did whatever he, to make a Yom Tif. Rav Kreisworth, my uncle, learned in Yeshiva Chachmei Lublin, and he heard many times in lectures from the Lublin rabbi, the main thing was Kavod HaTayra and Havas HaTayra. It cannot separate. Rav Kreisworth said, the Chabini Rav said, during the war in Bukhara, he met a rabbi, and the rabbi asked, what is this great anger? Rav Kreiswitz said, because there's no honor of Tyra. If there's no honor of Tyra, the Tyra can't keep. But our gathering here, our great gathering, you can't imagine the great power that it has here and in heaven. But much more than that, our inheritance, this great gathering of honor of Tyra, today we know there's a tremendous distress. All of the Mechanchen and Gedolim and parents are busy with the problem of the Chinuch of the children. There isn't a house that doesn't have problem with children, unfortunately. And the Gezeira, the decree about Jewish Chinuch that they're trying to disturb. 
our message of this Kavadah Torah gives our children an understanding of the power and the value of Torah more than anything else. And the Chinuch says, by Hakel, the gathering, the children asked, what's this whole parade, a gathering of Hakel? They told them, it's Torah. They brought, it brought into the children the preciousness of Torah. Children see Ahavas Torah, the covered Torah. It's the greatest thing for children to see. The Gemara and Bracha says, the people in Masa Machasya, they have great hearts. The Gemara says, two times a year they see the gathering for Torah, and they don't react to it. The Gemara says, the Kavit Torah, even the Goyim, should be affected in their heart, in their mind. They should be Megayer. How come the people in Moshe Machasi are not Megayer? Of course, of course, here, the Jews sitting in the cold weather, and the elders, the young ones, everyone is here for the Kavit Torah. It's the greatest message for our children, the greatest advice for the chinuch of children, the truth of the, the power of Daf Yoimai, Rav Meir Shapiro's power. There's a story, Lubuna Rebbe, when he was a child, his mama, his mother had a malamed, and he saw his mother crying one day. The mother said, why are you crying? The mother said, the, the private teacher went somewhere else because he got a better pay. So he told his mother, why are you crying? Nothing will happen. Tomorrow we'll get another Malamed. The mother said, no, I'm not crying about tomorrow. I'm crying about today. Ramei Shapira came to understand from his mother that every day you must have Torah. Dafa Yoimi says a connection, creates a connection. But every day, the Shloa Kaddish says that if a Jew doesn't learn Torah that day, it's like he didn't put film that day. What more do we need? That the Gemara says, if a person lives with every day to fill up that day with Torah, the Gemara at the end of Brachas says, Rabbi Yehuda, who was the chief speaker, he spoke about the honor of Torah. Today, today, and when it says, Haske Deshma Yisrael Hayoy Mazel Yis La'am, after 40 days in the wilderness, Today wasn't given the Torah, but actually the Gemara says every day it's as if it's given from Sinai. Rav Taim Chimbarchiyah said that a person who reads Kriya Shema every morning and night, and one night he didn't say Kriya Shema, it's as if he never read Kriya Shema. What do we see from here? That Kavod Torah can't be only every day. That's the power of Daf Yoimi. And Baruch Hashem, the Agodis Yisrael, that spreads out the Daf Yoimi. And this opportunity that we are standing here, the gates of heaven are open. You see that weeks ago, the Hashem helped us. They thought there would be tons of snow. You see, Hashem helped us. Hashem gave us such a beautiful day. The first Belzer Rebbe said that we say, Yehirutzen, about our brothers. We say Yehirotzen after leaning, but not by Achenev Nei Yisrael. We don't have to say Yehirotzen because it doesn't matter. When we're talking about our fellow Jews and all sorts of Jews, Tamid Chama and regular Jews, it's a great Yisrael in this gathering. We should ask about of our children, our children's children, we should ask the prayer they should all be able to learn the Holy Torah, the Lishma. We should all be Zaycha by the next Siyam Ashas that our hearts should get the fulmil, fulfillment of what they desire of Torah and with Mashiach Tzitkein Amen. Ken Yeratzen. We will now have the Kavay to hear Divrei Bracha from Moron Sar HaToyra, Harav Hagoyin, Reb Chaim Kanievsky Shlita.
מתחילים באמריקה עכשיו, את הסיום הש"ס, הדף היימי, עכשיו. אז רוצים שאתה תשתתף איתם, אז אני ואפשטיין עושים את הסיום גם פה. אדו אפטינאי כאלה סליקה נוסף הסנידה. אדו נוסף הסנידה ואדו חלון. דייט נוסף הסנידה ואדו דייט נוסף הסנידה חלון. ונדמה שם נוסף הסנידה סיסו של נון לבעיה ודיון לבעיה ודיון לבעיה ודיון שסיימו את הש"ס, מאות אלפי יהודים. הם שואלים מה הסבא מברך אותם לכבוד שהם סיימו את הש"ס. רוצים גם ברוכה שיהיה להם הצלוחה ברוכניץ וגשמיאל. Moron Rav Chaim has sent a letter to all those gathered here today. The letter will be read by Harav Ruvain Feinstein Shlita, Rosh HaYeshiva, Yeshiva Staten Island. Abaya says, I have credit because when I see a young Talmud Chacham who finishes a Masechta, I make a special holiday, a Yom Tov, for all the Rabbonim. What is explained here in this Gemara, that on the day that one person finished a Masechta, on that day it was a Yom Tov. So if one Talmud Chacham finishes a Masechta, and it's a Yom Tov for the entire Yeshiva, certainly, if one finishes all of Shas, and especially if thousands and thousands of Yidin from all different levels, great also hard-working men who are trying to make a living, and they finish every day a daf until they finish all of Shas, tens of thousands of Yidin all over the world, who through lectures founded by Yudas Yisrael, they learn one daf and another daf, because they keep a consistent establishment of times till their entire that is one of the first questions that a person is asked after 120 years in the world to come. The Chavetz Chaim and Mishnah Brura, he was very strict about this. And he said that we are zoiche, right now we are zoiche to stand in a great big holiday. It's certainly a Yom Tov in all the upper spheres and with the worlds down here. And we hope and we daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu that those who are learning Daf Yomi should multiply. Thousands of times more people should learn Daf Yomi and the world should be full of knowledge, intimate knowledge of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And certainly through those who learn one daf and another daf and review the daf and sharpen their understanding of the daf, in the end all the learners will know all of Torah Be'ezer Hashem. And it says in the Medrashir Hashirim that the foolish person says, how could one learn the whole Torah? The Zikin is 30 chapters, Caleb is 30 chapters, but the wise person says, I will learn two laws today, I will learn two laws tomorrow until I cover the entire Torah. Let it be the will that we should be zeichet to know the entire Torah, and I bench all those who learned Daf Yomi to begin, who begin and end, and all those who help should Amir Hashem be zeichet to be successful in spiritual, spiritually and physically. So most people learn it to mean I, I go over to a cow 
And then also, being over the head, you may can also give you a book and don't treat it. It may be Mikuyim. I told it, told to the head, to the, to the, to the head, it. Don't say, wow, what are you asking me for a bracha for? What's it going to help? So I'm telling you, you don't know who can, who, who can catch the keches of the bracha. So the head, it should give a bracha like, a, like he means it with all his keches. And that's the bracha I want to give you. Everybody hits some parts that's hard to understand. But we know that you gaiti v'lamatsosi tamin, you gaiti v'lamatsosi al tamin. And it means that person newsly where, where we, we back off after two, three times, we don't understand. I'll never understand it. Rapredis Talmud took 400 times. And he kept trying and trying because it was not considered he tried enough. And that's the point that we have. The Benishim Shemizoycha, everybody, with their trying, with the Emerson are trying to reach understanding. Thank you, be well. Mr. Mendy Rosenberg is a name that not everyone here knows, but they should. If we are gathered here today to celebrate the fierce determination and tremendous accomplishment of finishing all of Shas, then perhaps we should learn his name to understand what true, unadulterated Misirut Nefesh looks like. Seven and a half years ago, in this very spot, a man sat here witnessing the committed achievement of the Misaimim, the finishers of the entire Talmud Bavli, and he was blown away, just like the rest of us. But Mendy is not like the rest of us. You see, Mendy has ALS, a relentless and irreversible disease. It shuts the body down, muscle by muscle, until one is completely paralyzed, frozen. The last things ALS patients can control are their minds and their eyes. At the Siam in 2012, Mendy was three years into a disease that has a life expectancy of four years. Yet Mendy resolutely decided, ALS or not, that next Siam he would not be here as an observer, but as a champion. Mendy left with a plan. But six months later, Mendy was frozen, unable to move, eat, or even breathe on his own. How could he possibly reach his goal now? Most people would give in or give up, but not Mendy. His mind and his eyes still worked, and that would have to be enough. Yeshuat Hashem Keheref Ayin. The salvation of Hashem comes in the blink of an eye, literally. Mendy got a specialized computer system that tracks his every eye movement. Using just his eyes, he argues with his chavruta, navigates Torah websites online, finishes the daf multiple times daily. He studies Torah morning to night. Ubahem nehege yomam valayla. Whatever it takes. His tzadeket of a wife, Malki, is sure that the zechut of his daf learning is what keeps him going. And I think we all agree with her. Kihem chayenu ve'orech yamenu. Torah is our life and the length of our days. It has been 2,711 days since that day, and Mendy has not missed a single day. Today, Mendy has finished Shas. If he made it, what is our excuse? If we put our heart and minds into it, what could we achieve? Whatever it takes. What are you leaving today with? Mendy, I'm going to ask 100,000 people here today and the million people tuning in around the world to say a hearty amen to the following beracha. Kishem she'azarto v'sayem talmud bavli. Just as you have helped him finish all of Shas, Ken ta'azreu 
להתחיל מסכתות וספרים אחרים ולסיים הם! Thank you for the zechus. Thank you for the chizuk, Reb Mendi, and Mazel Tov to the entire Rosenberg family. Rav Meir Zlatowicz, Zechroin Levrocha, opened up Shas to so many. And through the Schattenstein Talmud, thousands upon thousands have joined the Daf Yomi family. The completion of the Schattenstein Shas in our day is a historic milestone. A sign, I believe, from Providence that Torah can and will be advanced by Ezra Hashem on all frontiers of Jewish life. And to be part of something that's being used everywhere, it's the greatest investment I've ever been involved, my family's ever been involved in. The Hatzlocha of Dafyaimi is because there was Atzko. That's clear as day to anyone who's an honest person knows that without Atzko, Dafyaimi would not have achieved the popularity that it did. God gives us all opportunities. And if we answer those opportunities, they'll give us more opportunities. So the key is we have to keep our eyes open, our ears open for those opportunities. The Bear Shapiro changed the world. Sarah Shanira changed the world. But every Jew is an Olam Kotten. A whole world, miniature world, but a whole world. And we can all make a difference. A Rebbe, a Mora, and a class the individual student who needs encouragement, an arm around the shoulder, a mother, her family, an honest businessman making a Kiddush Hashem. There are opportunities, always. We have to seize those opportunities and change worlds. After the Second World War, Rav Aaron Paperman, a former Talmud of Tells, became a chaplain with the United States Army to go to the DP camp to be able to help hundreds of people who never came out of the concentration camps. People would ask him for clothing. They would ask him for medications. One afternoon, a man, Yaakov Hirsch Seeger, came and said, Chaplain, could you please get me a Bovakama? And Rabbi Paperman said, a what? And Yaakov Hirsch said to him, Chaplain, you never heard of a Bovakama? And of course I know of the Gemara Bovakama. But I'm here to rehabilitate people. People ask me about medications or clothing that they might need. He said, Chaplain, four years ago, I was in my kitchen in Hungary and I was learning a Gemara and the Nazis, Yemach Shimon, they took me away. I haven't seen a Gomorrah in four years. I need a Gomorrah. I want to see those letters. I want to learn a Mishnah. I want to learn a Brisa. I want to hold a Masechta in my hand. Please, chaplain, if you can only give me a Gomorrah. In a few moments, we are going to be Messiah Shas with this Gomorrah. This precious Gemara is one of the only ones that's left from the DP camps. By making a Siyam, a Shas, with this Gemara, we make a bridge to the difficult past, but we also make a commitment to the future. Please welcome Rabbi Zev Paperman, son of U.S. Army Major Chaplain Aaron Paperman, as well as Reb Chaim Seeger, son of Rabbi Yaakov Hirsch Seeger, who will present a Gemara Nida printed in the DP camps by the United States of America government to Harav Shmuel Kamenetsky Shlita.
At this moment, we would like to honor all the Messiahme Hashas. We ask all the Messiahim to rise so that we may recognize your accomplishment. It is our zechus to be mechabed Harav Shmuel Kamenetsky, Roish HaYeshiva of the Philadelphia Yeshiva, and Chaver Moyetzes Kedoyle Atoira to make the Siam Hashas on the 13th Machzer of Daf Hayoimi. From all, all the Schichten from Klal Israel is here. Chsidim, Isnagdim, we're all on the same Torah. We live on the same Torah. It's really a, a to 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 the Messiah, the, the New York. But at the same time, we have to think when we Messiah Torah, we Messiah Torah on Simchas Torah, we finish the Zaysa Brocha. But yet, before we, we come to Musaf, we are, we are not only, that's not enough. We start from Bereshis and we. Go to the Parsha, Parsha von Briyas Oilam. The Shaila is, Mafter is supposed to be after the, the Parsha that you learn. What does it have to do that you bring in? And the Kaddish is said later. The Kaddish is said after we, we speak of Briyas Oilam. It seems that in order to understand what it means as Sima Torah, so we have to go back to the Haskhole. Where does it come from? Where does the Torah begin? And without understanding and starting Torah anew, we are not Mekayim the Mitzvah. We are not fulfilling the Mitzvah. We finish Zaysa Brocha. What else do we need? The Siyam is on Zaysa Brocha. It seems that the Siyam is not of Zaysa Brocha. The Siyam is a Haskhole from Bereshit. Does he got to see him? So we have to understand everybody who finished Shas have to realize that without a new beginning, with a new brain, we should go into Shas further. We must start anew. So the see him is actually not the end. A see him is only a beginning. It's the beginning of a new Haskhala. That's what it is. And it's the greatest Simcha is, this is the greatest Simcha. The greatest simcha is that we are maschil terev from the snai. We are happy to see that, that when we finished, we are not finished. Finished is only a beginning for the new one. We're going again and again and again. That's Torah. Torah expects us to come back, to come back and come back. My, my broche is, we should be zeche for many for many years to be able to learn Torah and learn again and again. I really have to thank Rav Agoyen that he gave me the opportunity to be Messiah. He probably knows who I mean, but I have to say it out loud. I have to thank him for giving me that opportunity. Rav David. I go in Rabdovit, he gave up 
He was supposed to mug to see him and he gave me to see him. So I want to thank him, Barabi. We have to understand that, that giving up a COVID is not an easy thing. Maybe he didn't practice it, but it is not easy. And I really appreciate Agoyan Abdovid for giving us, giving me the opportunity to make the seum. And now we will say the seum. Tonet Veilio. Veilio learned. Kolashayne halochas. Bechol yoim. If you learn halochas every day, muftach. Muftach loy shehulem abo. He's batuach to get to him abo. Because you learn every day halochas. Shenemar alichas oilam loy, al tiki alichas elah alochas. That we we thank, we thank the Rabbi Shalom that he gave us a seum to tell us that we are accepting anew again. Ashayna alochas bechol yoyim. That's what we have to be. The hadran will say the hadran. Hadran aloch mesiches nida the Talmud Babli. Hadran aloch daiten aloch. Meseches Nida, Mesalmud Babli. The Daitan Alon, we will not forget. It means we have to remember that Meseches Nida, Mesalmud Babli, Belon Tisnashem Ino, Loi Baal Mordein, Beloi Baal Medosi. Yerotam of Nechor Noelahenu, Belahea Besenu. Should be our umnes. We say him on a loyalum abo. Hanine ba pope, Rome ba pope, Nachman ba pope, Achoy ba pope, Abamori ba pope, Rafon ba pope, Rochish ba pope, Murcha ba pope, Adabarope, Doro ba pope. Papa was Zeche, he was a Godel and he was Zeche to ten sons, every one was a Godel Batero. And that's why we remember him, because we want to learn from them that they never gave up. Adon Allah, we come back to him. Harabno, at Noel Hainas, the Bresa Roscha Befino, we fear some Hobbes Israel, Venia, and Achno. Neulahenu <laughs> Shenem <laughs> Lil made a lamed lasses and a kayam. Scold the great Salmuta was Seho Beabo. Was Kusko at a noim by Maroim, the Talmida Hachomim, Yamad Lee, Lazare Colono, Shleitomus, the Rostrum Mipino, Picolo Elum, the Pizari, Zerazari, Ad Elum. Mm 
bis Alecha. Danke euch, Sonne. Euch auch. Schau, wenn ihr euch kommt. Tisch mal Alecha. Da geht es euch jetzt zu Kecha. Geh wie ihr bei euch Mecha, wie ihr Sippel, doch aus Schneus Chaim, euch Jomme bei Mina, bis Mäule euch aber Chabot. Ad neu euch, la mei tein, ad neu euch, la mei wasch the Siam Kaddish will be recited by Mr. J. Schottenstein in memory of his father, Yaakov Meir Chaim Ben Eliezer HaKohen. Mr. J. Schottenstein. Yiskadal v'yiskadah shemei rabba. Amen. V'yalma dihu asilet hadosa l'chayyoh mesayyoh u'asaka l'ashon l'chayyoh ma. L'yimnei kartod rishleim Amen. <laughs> Hey, Shme Rabom of Rock, the Alam of Mayo Maya. Yes, Barak, the Ishtabak, the Sparavis, Raman Bis Nase. The Sador, the Sale, the Sala, Shame de Kudisha, Berea Hulu. The Ela, Minkobra Hosa, the Shirasa, Tushma Hosa, the Nakamasa, Dam Yura, the Alma, the Amru, Amen. Al Yisrael, the Al Rabbanon, the Al Tambi de Hon, the Al Kol Tambi de Sambi de Hon. We all call Mondos Keys, but Raiso Diva Asro Hadem Badi, the Ha Asar Via Sar. Yehe Lahon Rahon Shlomo Rabba, Kino the Kisto Varakamin, the Hai Marikin, the Muzane Varike, Uparkano, Minkodom, Abahon Yishmaya, we are all the Amru Amen. Yehe Shlomo Rabba Minshamaya, the Haim Tovim. Alenu va ko Yisrael bimru amen. Ose shalom bimramav. Hu barachamav yase shalom. Alenu va ko Yisrael bimru amen.
And the Kaddish is said afterwards, because it's not a seum until you start anew. And we start anew means that you have whatever you did, now you start anew. Have to live today. We have to go away inspired to see how important it is to learn every day. And to bring us together, that's also an outcome of learning together. Together is most important. And since we're together, it's a different outlook. I'm part of a college makes you part of a college Probably the greatest accomplishment of my life, being able to be Messiah Shas. At the last team of Shas, I looked around the stadium. I saw so many people that were younger than me who have completed Shas. I was jealous. And I asked myself, why didn't I complete Shas? I went back to Yeshiva and I found myself in Harusa and we learned Mesechtas that I have not yet completed. And Baruch Hashem now, on my second round of Shas. Rav Aaron Kutter was asked why one should be Yisachar when he can be a Zevulun and still get equal Sechar of Limud Torah. He responded, you're worried only about your Olam Haba? What about, about your Olam Hazer? The Dafa Yoimi is in the Olam Hazer. This is in the greatest of the Daf is in the Chayas. It is in the ganze Wesen. Daf Yomi enhances our family life, earns us respect from our spouses, and increases the nachas we get from our children. The past seven and a half years since I've undertaken to complete Shas, there's no question that this is the best learning time of my life. Our whole family knows and understands the primacy of learning. So even all of my children, when we're on vacation, they get chavrusas. With the support of my wife and the encouragement, learning definitely is primary to me, and everything else is secondary. Ashrecha ba'olam hazeh. Torah is our olam hazeh too. Daf Yoimi elevates the way we think and how we interact with others. It elevates who we are as a people. Ki hi chachmaschem ubinaschem le'enei ha'amim. There's no doubt that on a journey that's seven and a half years long, there's ups and there's downs. There are times where you're not quite sure you're gonna make it through this cycle. What gives me chizik is I look next to me and I look to the left and look to the right and I see the Olam is continuing. I wanna to be together with the Olam. When we're committed to Torah on a day in and day out basis without fail, then we can say, Kiem chayenu. that's who I am, that's my life. My youngest son was 21 years old when he made a 
CMHS. At that CM, I was so moved that I turned to uh, Rosh Kolo, Mayor Minster, and I said, Mayor, you gotta teach me Gamora. So he went and bought a shot, said, Shas, I took it home, and when you open the first page, you see this gorgeous lithograph of Sharon Vilnius, the gates of Vilna. I said to the Rona Shalola, please let me in those gates. Please let me in those gates. We respectfully request everyone please return to your seats so the program may continue. Please return to your seats so the program can continue. It is now our zechus to be mechabed her of Aaron Feldman Shlita, Roish Hayeshiva Yeshivas Ner Yisrael, Chaver Moyetes Kedoyleya Toira, to be Maschil, the 14th Machzer of Daf Hayoimi. Birshus, Morono Verabonon Verabesai, Birshus, this assembly of Oyave Toira. Bishus, my dear brothers and sisters of Klal Yisroel, who have completed this shas. We say in Davani every day, Vani zois brisi omar Hashem, uchi asher olecho, udvorai asher samti b'ficho, leamushu mipicho mipiza acho adoylom. Hashem tells us, I have a covenant with you, that my Torah, the words that I've given in your mouths, will never be lost from you forever. This day is a realization of that promise, that covenant which we have with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that the words of Torah will never be lost. We've kept the Torah since Maimir HaSinai, it has never left us. And today we celebrate this connection we have with Ruchi Asher Alecho, with Vorai Asher Samti Beficho, with Amushu Mi Picho, Mi Pizaracho Adelom. The Mishnah we are about to begin, Me'emasai, teaches us when the time for the reading of Shema and the evening begins. This Mishnah, besides being the first in Shas, is also the beginning of two other subdivisions of Shas. It's the beginning of Seder Zroim, the first of the six Dorim of Shas. Secondly, it's the beginning of Mesechte Brochus, the first Mesechte in Shas. Zroim deals with the laws of the produce of the fields. It tells us which portions we have to separate from our produce to give to the Kohanim, the Levim, and the poor. The Sechte Broches deals with the blessings we must recite before we partake of our food. Remarkably, there's a, there is a, a great difficulty in this. This Mishnah that we're about to begin seems to be unrelated to both of them. What does Kriyashma have to do with Zroim, the produce of the fields? What does Kriyashma have to do with the blessings we make over our food? Why, the, why then should Me'emasai serve as their beginnings? A more basic question deserves to be asked. Why was this Mishnah chosen out of all the other Mishnayas to be placed at the head of all of Shas? Seder Zroim, as we have said, deals with our, our obligation to separate a portion of our produce as gifts for the Kohanim, Levim, and the poor. With these gifts, we demonstrate that the earth is not ours, but Hashem's.
We demonstrate that we cannot use our land until we first give a portion of its produce to those whom Hashem has designated. Similarly, regarding broches, the pleasures of this world are gifts bestowed upon us by Hashem, and we must express our gratitude to Him for those gifts by making broches before we partake of them. Put into other words, Seder Zroim says that the earth is not ours. The Sechte Broches says that the world is not ours. Kriyashma goes a step further. It says that our lives are not ours. Shema Yisroel, Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echod, says that there is one source of existence, one purpose to life. It goes on with Vyohavto to say that we must obey the will of one Creator and therefore we must even give up our lives under certain circumstances and our possessions rather than violate Hashem's will. The recognition that the sole purpose of our lives is to serve Hashem is therefore the logical beginning of Zroim and of Mesech de Brochus. Because serving Hashem is the reason for our existence. Because of that, our fields are His, our food is His. We must therefore separate Trum and Meiser from our fields before we enjoy its fruits. We must therefore express our gratitude to Hashem for every morsel of food we enjoy. If so, this Mishneh stands rightfully at the beginning of Seder Zroim and Mesech de Brochus. Kriyashma tells us that our lives belong to Hashem and therefore the earth and all that is on it belong to Him as well. Because this idea is so basic to everything in Judaism, this is why this Mishnah Meimasai was chosen to be the first mission of Shas. Shas is the blueprint of Jewish life. Kriyashma tells us that the purpose of our lives is to live by this blueprint. Once we know what is our purpose, we can go on to carrying out that purpose. There is another first in Kriyashma. After informing us of what our mission in life is, Kriyashma goes on to say, This is the mitzvah to study Torah. We are being told that we can only accomplish our mission in life if we commit ourselves to learning Torah. If life is here to serve Hashem, the only way we can know what is Hashem's will is to study Torah. <clears throat> this gathering, probably the greatest since the Churban Beis Hamikdash, is a recognition by Rivas Alpha Yisrael, multitudes of Jews, of what Torah means to the Jewish people. It is a statement that Torah is central to our existence as Jews. It is an expression of the words we say before reading the Shema every evening. Ki heim chayenu v'arech yomenu. Torah is our life and the length of our days. Torah is the lifeblood of the Jewish people. As we begin a new cycle of Shas, let us commit ourselves to the study and to the support of as much Torah as we are able. Without the learning of Torah, and its support, we cannot survive either as individuals or as a nation. With this in mind, let us begin the Mishneh, Me'emasai, when does the time for reading the Shema begin? Me'emasai kerlin the Shema ba'arvis, misho sha'akwani nichnosim lechel bitrumoson atsoif o'ashmoira rishonia divira beleza. When do we start reading the Shema in the evenings? From the time that the Kohenim begin eating the Truma, if there had to be toivel in a mikveh during the day, until the first third of the night. 
Dibri Rebelezer. Why doesn't the Mishnah say from the time that night falls? Why does it say, why do we give the time as related to the time when Koenim can eat the Truma? I believe in accordance with what we said before, that because we read Kriyashma, therefore we have to give Truma. Our lives are not ours, and our produce is not ours. You can only read till midnight. Until, till dawn. It happened that the children of Gamliel once came from a, from a celebration. They said to him, We didn't read the Shema yet. If the sun has not, if the dawn has not happened yet, you are required to read Kriyashma. Even though the Chachom say Ad Chatzois, but that doesn't mean that the Torah obligation ends at Chatzois. The Torah obligation ends when dawn arrives. Whatever, whenever the Chacham said that you should do something until midnight, if you didn't do it through midnight, you can still do it until the morning. The offering of the fats on the Mizbeach and the Evorim of the Kolm Oilo on the Mizbeach all night, you're supposed to do it until the morning. If you haven't done it until Chatzois. Anything which, any corn which you're allowed to eat only for one day, it means you can only eat it the day that you shechted the corn and the night until the next dawn. You must eat it until Chatzois. But if you haven't eaten it until Chatzois, you can wait until the morning. And you could eat it before then. Imkain lo momo chachom ma chatzois. Why did the chachom say till chatzois? De la harchi kes odem na vera. So the person should be distance himself from na vera. Es the gemara tona heche koi dik tona meimasai. What is the mission referring to when it says meimasai? The su meishin of the tona ba'arv is bereisha. Listen to the shachet bereisha. Why? Is the, is the Kriyashma of the night mentioned first, one at the Kriyashma of the day? Tona Akrokoi, the Posik, the Tana refers to a Posik which says, Bishoch Bacho Kumecho. You're supposed to read Kriyashma first, Bishoch Bacho Kumecho. The order is first the evening and then the day. Vibo Yiseime, Yalavi Biliyose Shaloylam. We began. Shas again, Bezos Hashem. When we be the next inclusion of Shas should be Yerushalayim, Kodesh, the Vinyan Beis Hamikdash, Meir of Yomenu Amen. Fourteen years ago, Rabbi Yanki Lefkowitz and his 12-year-old son, Aaron, drove from Baltimore to Madison Square Garden for the Siyam Ashas. When they arrived at the Siyam, Rabbi Yanki wanted to take his son down to the dais to receive brachas from the Gedolim for his upcoming bar mitzvah. But after a three-hour drive, Aaron had no energy to push his way up front until his father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. He said, Aaron, if you come with me right now, you join me and take advantage of this opportunity, I promise you I'll buy you a special gift. Whatever you want, you name it, you got it. Aaron's face lit up. He took his father's hand and joined them down to the dais and they received many brachas. On their way home, Aaron was in a reflective mood. He was very quiet. He didn't say much the entire ride. 
But five minutes before Bianchi pulled into the driveway, Aaron turned to his father and he said, Tati, I've been thinking a lot about what I want for my gift. I know exactly what I want for my gift. I want you to start learning Dafa Yoimi and make a Siyam Asha. So the next time you come to the Siyam, we don't just participate, but we celebrate your own Siyam Ashas. Rabianki almost crashed his car. He couldn't believe his ears. From everything his son could have asked for, he wanted him to commit to learning Dafa Yoimi. He promised Aaron that as soon as they get home, he'll open a Gemara Brachis to Daf Beis and begin Me'em Esai Koyer as Shema. And true to his word, the next seven and a half years, Rabbi Yanki learned Daf Yoimi every single day. And Aaron checked in with his father to see how he's doing. And when Rabbi Yanki encountered a difficult Daf Gemara, he remembered his promise to his son. And true to his word, seven and a half years later, in this stadium, Rabianki handed Aaron the ultimate gift. The gift of his very first Siyam Hashas. Today, Rabianki is here with his family. He's here with his father, Rabbi Yehuda Lefkowitz, who finished Shas four times. And he's here with Aaron. And Rabianki is gearing up and getting ready to start up Ayoimi again. But this time, he's not starting it alone. He's starting the very first Mishnah together with Aaron. A few days ago, my kids asked me, Tati, what are you going to say to see him? I to 95,000 people. And I shared with them this story. And one of my sons said to me, half jokingly, but half seriously, Tati, I know what I want for my Hanukkah gift this year. My friends, the greatest gift you can give to your children is committing yourself to Torah every single day. Like Mr. Seeger who needed a Baba Kama, our children need to see us devoted, committed with consistency to Dafa Yoimi. And there's no doubt in my mind, when they see that, we won't just be celebrating our Siyam, but in the years to come, we'll be celebrating our children's Siyam as well. It is now our Zuchus to be Mechabed, Rav Uren Reich, Roish HaYeshiva, Yeshiva of Woodlake Village, to address the Siyam. The Rosh Yeshiva's words will be followed immediately by the Zichroin Kedoshim segment of the program. Rabbi Sai, to best capture the inner essence of this meeting of Yidin, we would do well to learn Psukim in this week's Pasha. The brothers of Yosef Atzadik came back to Yaakov with stunning news. By Agidu Lailemer, they reported to the hymn saying, Oid Yosef Chai, the Chihu Meishel Bechol Eretz Mitzrayim. Yosef is still alive and he rules over the whole of Mitzrayim. By Yofog Liboy Kiloy Hem in Lahem. Yaakov Avinu found it impossible to believe. By Yadabru Elov as called Divre Yosef Ashadibar Alehem. But when they repeated all the words that Yosef had said, By Yaris Ha Goles Ashesholach Yosef Loses Isai, then he accepted that he Ruach Yaakov Avim. The Mephoshim explained. Yaakov Avinu had no problem accepting the possibility that the physical Yosef, his biological son, was still alive. But the words Oid Yosef Chai meant so much more than that to Yaakov Avinu. 
Eid Yosef Chai means Yosef is still the tzaddik he was when he was in Beis Yaakov. He is the Yosef who is Oav Mikol Echov Kiben Skudim Uloi. And Yaakov Avinu could not believe that that was true. To sit in Mitzrayim, surrounded by a decadent culture, it would be one thing if he was segregated and separated and isolated from all around him. But you tell me that he's a Moishel Bechal Eretz Mitzrayim. He's firmly entrenched in every aspect of Egyptian life. He's aware and involved in all the intricacies, complexities, and intrigues of the royal palace. How is it possible that Oid Yosef Chai? Chazal tell us that Yosef gave a code to his father and told him that before we parted from each other, we spoke about Egla Arufa. Clearly, in the words of Egla Arufa, there was a message to Yaakov Avinu. What was that message? Why were they talking about Egla Arufa when they parted from each other? The Medrash says that as Yaakov Avinu accompanied Yosef out of his house, as the Posik indicates in Vayeshev, Yosef said, Abba, Chazerbach. I'm not a guest, I'm a son. There's no need for the hospitality of Lavoya. And Yaakov Avinu taught Yosef by using the Pasha of Egla Rufa that there's another aspect to Lavoya, to accompanying someone who goes on a way. Because when someone goes into a forest, into a place of danger, being alone, puts him in great jeopardy. And when the person is malava and accompanies him, even though he only does that for the beginning of the way, symbolically, because his das is with him, it's as though he's accompanying him all the way. He's not alone. Yosef HaTzadik was giving a profound message to Yaakov Avinu. It's not only in the physical world. It's the danger of being alone spiritually also. You, Yaakov Avinu, accompanied me all the way. You, Yaakov, who Chazal say is a Shemesh, radiant like the sun, accompanied me wherever I went. I was never alone. When I was in the house of Potiphar, and was presented with a superhuman challenge. And I replied with the strength of spirit, Hashem Pekeach Ivrim, Hashem Matir Asurim, as the Gemara tells us in Yuma, and eventually Hashem Oyev Tzadikim. They were very crucial first words. Ashrei Shekel Yaakov Be'ezroi. I have the help of being connected with Yaakov Avinu. When they told you that I was devoured from animals, put Yosef behind you and move on. You said, You refused to let go of me. You said, I am with Yosef wherever he is. Your Vayemoyen gave me the strength for Vayemoyen. Ashrei Shekel Yaakov Be'ezrei. And as Chazal teach us, Demus Diyeknoi Shel Oviv Niralei Bechaloin. There was a window between you and me. Physically, we were miles apart. Spiritually, the house of Potiphar and the house of Yosef, of, of Yaakov Avinu, were galaxies apart. But there was a chaloyin and a connection. And despite physically being in the house of Potiphar, I was connected with Beis Yaakov. You were with me, and because of that, I never left your house. Yes, 
I'm a Moshul Bechol Eretz Mitzrayim. I'm firmly involved Bekerev HaOretz. But I am a member of your household no less than when I was there. You are accompanying me all the way. When Yaakov Avinu heard that, he heard the words at Divrei Yosef, but more than that, he understood the message, the Agolis Asher Sholach Yosef, the message that Yosef was sending, Lasseis Oisai, to uplift him. Yosef was trying to give a new surge of life to Yaakov Avinu, and he was successful. Vatchi Ruach Yaakov Avim. If Yosef is high, then Yaakov is high. Ma'azaroi b'chayim, afhu b'chayim. And towards the end of his life, Yaakov Avinu had an ambitious project. He wanted this to continue. Yaakov Avinu knew that Yosef HaTzadik is the very first Yid who went into Golis. The first, but hardly the last. He had sons that were born in Golis. And after that came hundreds, thousands, and millions of Yidin throughout the generations who've been alone in all kinds of situations. Yaakov Avinu said, The Malach who is with me, Yevorich es Hanaorim, should bless Menashe, Ephraim, and all the generations that come after them. They should be inextricably bound with the Ovis Akdashim. Their title should be Bnei Yisroel. How will that happen? The Yidgu Laroiv, the Kerev Ho'oretz. The Yidgu, they will be like fish who swim in water and jump for every drop of water, as Chazal say. So too, Klal Yisrael will be together with Yaakov Avinu when they are the Yidgu Laroiv Bekerev Oretz. Yaakov Avinu fervently wished that there should be G'dayli Teira and Tomiri Chachomim throughout the generations. But he also wanted that the Yidgu Laroiv there should be a multitude of Yidin, Bekerev Haaretz, who are engaged in the world and nevertheless have the capacity to be like Dogim, to be Dovuk Betera, and to make Teira the main part of their life. The river voice Amcha Beis Yisrael that are here today are here to loudly proclaim Yaakov Avinu Loi Meis. We are sending the same message, the Agolis Asher Sholach Yosef. Look, Yaakov Avinu, at your descendants. Thousands of years of such abject circumstances. Yidin have always been clinging to the Black Gomorrah, Teresh Shabalpeh, in all circumstances. And together with the G'dayli HaTomide Chachomim, there have been so many thousands of Yidin who Bekerev HaOretz with Dovet Betera, the Yid Gul Arayv, Bekerev HaOretz, Yaakov Avinu, Loi Meis. Rabbi Isai, in the last seven and a half years, there have been many milestones Many siyumim and many different kinds of people are represented here today. There are G'dayli Teira Baruch Hashem that are capable of effortlessly reviewing daf after daf of Gemara. Together with them, there are Amcho Beis Yisroel who Bekerev HaOretz dedicate time with sometimes with great sacrifice not only them, their wives, their children are all part of the lifestyle of the Yidgu Laroiv, 
בקרב האורץ, יעקב אבינו לא ימס. רבי סי, we are not only here to rejoice with the milestones and achievements of the past, but rather we are here to also commit for the future more chizukah teira, more kvius itim teira, more hasmoda, more consistency, more concentration and focus. To be the yidgul arayv, b'kerev ha'aretz, so that we can truly say, Yaakov Avinu Leimais. Let us never make the mistake of thinking what is the significance of an extra five minutes, of an extra harmony of Gemara. It's so small. What can my contribution be? Chazal teaches, Kedogim Shabiyam, like the fish in water who jump for every drop. We have to realize the preciousness of every bit of Torah. Allow me to share with you a profound story about the legendary Divri Chaim, the Tanzarov. The Tanzarov, thousands of people thronged to him to join him for Yom Tov and Yom Neroim. And there was one Yid from Kruka, Rab Shimon of Kruka, who was an exceptional Talmud Chochem, and the Tanzarov would be mechabed him and make sure he had a prominent place. He was a modest man and he felt uncomfortable. And one time he said, Rebbe, the Yerushalmi says that when a person receives honor because he's assumed to know two Masechtas, and in reality he only knows one Masechta, he has to make a disclaimer and say, I don't know two Masechtas. And in my case, Rebbe, and before he could finish the sentence, the Tzanzarov jumped and exclaimed, Und ihr kennt Upschatzen, wie viel Covid kommt da jed für ein Masechta? Can you gauge the amount of Covid worthy of a yid who knows one Masechta? The reason he was giving him COVID was not because he thought that he'd learned more than he had. It's because in his greatness, he appreciated every bit of Torah. Rabbi Isai, allow me to end with a thought and maybe a suggestion. Every day in the morning before Krishna, we say an exceptionally charged emotional tefillah, the tefillah of Abba Rabba. And in it, we beg HaKadosh Baruch Hu for mercy. Avinu avarachman amarachim. You are a merciful father, full of compassion. Rachim aleinu, have rachmanas on us. What is it we're looking for? The same belibeinu lahovinu lahaskil lishmoya. To understand and appreciate. Lilmoy, to learn. Lilame, to teach. Lishmo velasis, to meticulously keep the mitzvahs of. Ulekayim to be machzik and machazik, kol divrei tamatei rosecho biyavo. What a tefillah! How much heart and emotion there is in that tefillah. Anyone who's been fortunate to say that tefillah on Shavuos morning in Bismedrish Gevoye in Lakewood knows what an outpouring of his chanunas and bchia there is during that tefillah. But amazingly, Chazal did not only give that filler for Shavuos and not only for those who are Ba'oyal Hatera. They trusted every Yid clearly to be able to identify with the lofty message of Abba Rabba. Nothing more eloquently demonstrates the connection of all of us with the filler of Abba Rabba than the outpouring of enthusiasm generated by this Siyam Ashas. Rabbi Sa, we are all Ava Rabba Yidin, and we would do well to spend a few extra seconds when we say Ava Rabba, a little bit more concentration, more emotion. I heard a very inspiring story from my cousin Lani Neyman who was brought up in a town in Europe, and there was a Yid in that town, Avram was his name. 
He was known to be a Holocaust survivor. He'd seen the most unspeakable atrocities. It was known that he'd seen his father shot in front of his eyes. He was a Shema Teira mitzvah, brought up on his own without parents, but not on the level of his father and grandfather. He didn't come to shul during the week, but when he came on Shabbos, every week as they would come to Abba Rabba, the same drama would unfold. This Yid of Rome would be transformed and transported to a different world. He would say every word literally with tears coursing down his cheeks. The same Biribeinu Bino Lahovin Ola Haskil Lishmaya Lomidul Alamid. It seemed so incongruous that someone said once to him, Rabbi Vrom, I don't want to be offensive. You're not even a Kiveya Itim Lataira. Why do you say Abba Rabba that way? And he answered with great emotion. My father was a special Talmud Chochem. He was brutally taken away from me. I hardly remember him. But if there's one vivid recollection I have of my father, it's the yearning with which he would say Abba Rabba. The Cheshek, the Cheshek Fatera, the Avas Hatera. When I say Abba Rabba, it's not me. My father is together with me. Once again, I'm the little boy sitting next to my father, being taught by my father how to say Abba Rabba. Dmus diyekne shel ovi. Let us not estimate, underestimate the tefillah of Abba Rabba. Rabbi Sai, this Avram has grandchildren, Bnei Teira, Talmidi Chachomim, Gedeilim in Eretz Yisrael. Beheishiv leiv oves al bonim, beleiv bonim al avesam. I'll conclude with a startling quotation that the Talmud of the Baal Shem Tov, the Toldis, brings in his name. The Baal Shem Tov said it was revealed to me min Hashemayim, that the secret for bringing this bitter gollus to an end is more devotion and intensity when we say the tefillah of Ava Rabba. And maybe the reason for that is the essence of gollus for Klal Yisrael uniquely is estrangement from the Ovis Haktashim, as the Ramban says. When we weaken our tie with the Ovis, when we don't deserve the title B'nai Yisrael, we go into Golis. When we reaffirm our connection with the Ovis, when we say Abba Rabba and live the message of Abba Rabba, the Yid Gula Roiv Bekerev Oretz Kedogim Shabayam, and thereby our Zeche to be the Yekore Bem Shmi V'Shem Avaisai, then we are Zeche to the Malach HaGoyel. Let us cherish the last few minutes here. Let us not squander them. Let us be machazik and commit to further intensity. Limudat Teira, Chizukat Teira, Kvies Itim Teira, more shirim, more time, more sacrifice, and more concentration. And yes, more, more kavona by Abba Rabba. And we'll be zeicher to the end of the bracha. Nagila v'nismacha b'shua secha kikel poel yeshuis oto, and will speedily be zeicher to the heishiv leivavis al bonim, the leiv bonim al avosam b'mehero v'yamenu amen. The moed has kedola tore thirty years back, designated the daf hayomi in the memory in the schools of the six million of the Gedoshim of the Holocaust. The goal of the Nazi Zemach Shimon was not only to physically annihilate the Jews of Europe, but to destroy the surviving Jews throughout the world by destroying the Talmud because they understood that this was the secret of Jewish continuity. Und widmen und dem Sium dos uns ein das sie können para dich deixe. Ich muss euch sagen, als glorisch Friede stammus 
als het koeve, meent is bij ons bij meer persoonlijk, schrikkelijk je belemmers, dat ze daar geen is, we met ongebracht hels, na al jullie deze ongebracht, je ziet we, je stoot, je rossi, je ziet we, mijn grijs in de webben, Tell the Lord, Shem in Kundamoy. The Krechts is not a Fels. The Krechts is a Freshburg, a Varsche, a Flemberg, a Krakow, a Frankfurt. A who is I need to give in? What of them is the Krechts? Now let us think for one horrifying minute of the one million Jewish children who were massacred and sacrificed when they were still young. I once read that somebody who miraculously escaped from inside a gas chamber heard the cry of a young boy imploring his mother, Mother, wasn't I always a good boy? At that very moment, when this holy neshama expired, the Rabboni Shalom took it up, Kabe Yochel, into his arms, saying to him, Och, mein Kind, yes, you were always a good child. From now on, I shall take you into my arms, and I shall become your Rebbe. I shall learn with you. You shall learn in my Mesifta Shalmaila, Together with your brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers, Hashem, Yikam Domam. And so we dedicate this Siyam to them, to all the Gedoshim. And we have just said, Hadran Aloch Tinoiches, you little child, Hadran Aloch. We are going to ask you 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 was nur getracht, du hast aber gehört, das sag mal, wie jeder hat aber gesagt, oi, wehret noch mir, kann ich so. In der Meile sehen wir, als kein größere Sach, wie wir zu geben von die Kedäuschen, dem Limit der Dafa Jäumi, kein größere Sekunden, kein größere Askure. It's a time of realization, it's a time of communion to realize what we possess in order to know what we have lost so that perhaps Hashem Yisbarak will help us once again to reach to those heights and possess them again. Imagine what we, the world would look like today, our world, if these six million Kadoshim would not have perished if all the Gedoyle Yisroel, if all the Bnei Teure, all the Tamili Chachomim, all the Elachayidin would have survived, our Messoyres would be something more tangible, more palpable. We are still reeling from this blow. We haven't recovered. And the Gedoyle Yisroel here in America dedicated the Siem as a commemoration in their honor. Not a dead monument, but a living testament that they did not die in vain. They are forever an inspiration to us. Baruch Hashem, I'm going to the Sima Shas with four generations. This is the, the greatest thing that could happen to me because this shows Neitzach Yisrael Yashok. I see every baby born, every Tav Gemara learn, learn the Kuman that learn. All you people that are here gathered at the Sima Shas, you cannot imagine or fathom what a feeling it is for me. I watched you and I said, wait a minute, did I survive for a purpose? 
Here it is in this stadium is Mamish Akinis Hashem. And I wish you all to be able to massage the next CMSS together. And I wish you to give us strength and longevity to have nachos for the kids, grandkids, and great grandkids. We'll die, die. Amen. 
Yitzchak Mayor Helfgott will now recite a kale mole rachamim for the neshamais of the Kedoshe Europa. Chazan Helfgott will be joined throughout the arena by members of our treasured She'eris Hapleta.
Kaddish, Le'ilui Nishmas, the Kedoshim, will be recited by Rebbe Avram Schoenberger. Yisgadal veyskadash me'rabo Omudu bruch rise, yamlech malchise, ve'atzmach perkunai ve'korum eshichem. Mechayich en roimech en echayim kol beis Yisroel. Bagolo is man kore ve imre omen. Eshme rabo mevorak la olam olme olmayo. Is burak vish tabak is for his roy mamis nase. Vis hador vis ala vis halach made a kitcho berike. Elo me karbuso. She rose with his book, so Nakam also. The Miron Bolmo Imre Omen. Heshlomo Rabo Mishumayo. The kind toy we moleni. I'll call Israel. We Imre Omen. I saw Shulam Bim Raimov. Yes, I saw him moleni. I'll call Israel. We Imre Omen. The Navarminsky Rebbe Shlita, Roish Agudas Yisrael, will now lead us in Kabbalah's oil, Malchus Shomayim. Kivoid Kedushas Admor Misant Klosenberg is Mechubid Mit Shemais. Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kivayd Malchus Rai L'Aylam Vohed Baruch Shem Kivayd Malchus Rai L'Aylam Vohed Baruch Shem Kivayd Malchus Rai 
Aim Kivad Malchusai, the Aim Lamboed. Adoi noi, hi hueloyim. Adoi noi, hi hueloyim. Adoi noi, hi hueloyim. Adoi noi, hi eloyim. Adoi noi, hi eloyim. Adoi noi, hi hueloyim. Adoi noi. Adoi noi meilach, Adoi noi mulach, Adoi noi imloich leoilam vuet. As we begin Mayrev, led by Reb Lazar Ginsberg, we respectfully request everyone back to their seats. At the conclusion of Mayrev, all charter and group buses will be leaving from lot L, as in Larry. All neighborhood buses will be leaving from lot M, as in Mishnayas. And now, please turn in your program to Tfilas Mayrev, led by Harav Lazar Ginsberg, Shlita. Roish Koilel Mir Yeshiva Brooklyn, Rov of Agudas Yisrael, Zichroin Shmuel. Shira Maroiz, in a book with the Gavir. You fault him, you should. He's got there, we is got there, Shmei Rabo. Your mother, you're a say. Yam Rigma, who say. Yats Mark Bukone, you call a Michihe. Haye Hoy, you may hoy, you will haye the whole base is well. Bagoro is Bagore. Thank you. 
יזגדל ויזגדל שמי רבו ביומו דמרוך ירוסי ויבריך ואחוסי ויצמח והוא קונה וקורא משיחי וחיי חוינו וימי חוינו וחיינו חורבי שישראל והגורו בזמן קוראים ואמרו Thank you all for joining us and helping make this historic event into a true Maimid for Kvayit Shemayim and Kavad Atayra. We look forward to welcoming everyone to the Siyam on the 14th Machzor of Daf Hayoimi in Yerushalayim Habnuya to be held on Bez Sivan 5787, June 7th, 2027. We'll see you there. Be'ezras Hashem. What Zafiomi has taught us is that a person can be cover themselves each and every day and accomplish a great deal in their learning. You could do it in Talmud Bavli, that's what Tafyomi did. You could do it in Talmud Yerushalmi. You could do it in Shulchan Aruch. You could do it in Musr. You could do it in Tanakh. A person who sets a time to learn every single day and to advance in their learning every single day, such a person is going to be Mekayim Talmud Torah on a greater level every day of his life.
shifty booklets, it's giving you that information that you were learning in yeshiva, concentrated, be learned in a shorter period of time. The Smichat Chaver program is a program set up to teach Balibatim, Halacha Lamaisa, in a very structured curriculum. The Dershu program, for me, getting up in the morning, being part of a Chabura, learning together, Masechtas, being, making Kenyan on the Masechtas with the Chazar, with the Bukhinas, really makes a big difference in my day and in my Tzuruvia. I'm part of something much bigger. I may be learning just the first ten block, and together we'll finish a Masechta, or a Seder, or even Shas, the Eid. To be kind of Masechta, to know that after 120, this is my Masechta. Well, now I've been learning Dafa Shavua, and there's a special geschmack from it, and there's an incredible amount of material for any level of learning. Oh, so 